Hello YouTube, anyone who's new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Wade and I am super excited because today we are playing Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life. It is a remake for my favorite childhood game, Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life, and Another Wonderful Life, uh, which was the girl version. I've got the uh, Discord right over here. <laughs> Just had to pull that out uh, for today's gameplay. Um, and I'm super excited to go on this journey with you guys. I was saying to uh, Twitch chat earlier, say hello Twitch chat if you haven't already, um, that the original game, um, which released back in 2003, it really meant a lot to me. It was um, my first farming sim game because Harvest Moon was kind of the OG, the original farming simulator games. And I was always a big video gamer, but I had never really um, found a, a, a game, a genre that really meshed with me well um, until I found this series. And so, yeah, it means the world to me that this game is out today. And I think without further ado, go ahead and get started with it. Oh my goodness. Let's do it. It all started with a letter. Can't remember how many years it's been since I got one. I'm gonna cry. Um, so... In the original game, um, I believe his name was uh, pronounced Takakura. Um, but I know they've renamed some characters for this remake, so it'll be interesting to see um, what all of them are renamed. See, I had this friend once. We used to share all of our hopes and dreams with each other. And the sender of this letter is Kid. The letter was all about life in the city. And the kid asked a bunch of questions about farming and at the end wrote, I'd like to try working the farm. To a city kid, I guess life in Forgotten Valley must have seemed appealing. So that's one thing um, that has changed from the original. Um, the original game took place in Forget-Me-Not Valley, like the flower. Um, so yeah, I don't know if they just like didn't have the rights to like some of the names or or what, but Forgotten Valley. I mean, it, it it's cute, but it also kind of sounds sad. Like, who would forget this place? Well, it took me by surprise. I'll say that much. I closed my eyes and saw my old friend smile, just like it was yesterday. That intro, like it is just like the original one though. It takes guts to travel all the way from the big city to Forgotten Valley, place most folks well forget about. Oh, hello. Character customization. Okay, so character customization was not a thing in the original game, and this music is really loud still. <laughs> so I'm going to lower it a bit on you guys' side uh, through OBS because the game would not let me lower it anymore. <laughs> Hang on, what I might have to do instead is, let me do it uh, through Windows actually. Volume mixer, story of seasons. Okay, maybe we'll set that to about. Maybe a little bit more. Probably gonna need to raise like the sound effects and stuff since I'm lowering this. Yeah, that music came in real hot. <laughs> Oh, but it sounds like just like the original. Oh, it's so good. Just, you know, like newer and yeah, probably better quality too. <laughs> also, hey, Anne. Hey, uh, Brittany, welcome in. How are you guys? I hope you're well. We made it to the YouTubes. You, you've made it. <laughs> this is a remake. Yeah, the original one came out um, 20 years ago. So I've been super excited, super excited. All right, face type. So we've got this one. Oh, we got that one. I do enjoy some good old eyelashes. Oh, we got like, like an angie face. And, oh, I do like that one. I'm pretty smiley, so I feel like this will suit me. <laughs> also, hey Ming, nice to see you. Three hour uh, cre creator uh, creation stream incoming. Thankfully, I think the character customization in this game is not quite that intensive. So yeah, <laughs> I think maybe we'll go with that one. 
And then for the eyes, oh wow. Um, probably, yeah, we'll go with the blue there. Let's do that. Your face, skin color, and eye color can't be changed later. Okay, all right. Are you sure you're okay with this? Let's do it. Oh my gosh, and hairstyles. Oh. <laughs> All right, what do we got? We've got um, the classic ponytail from, so the um, original game, um, Another Wonderful Life. Uh, the girl, you could name her whatever, but her default name I believe was Pony. And yeah, so we got the ponies, ponytail there. So that's cute, might go with that. We've got like a cute bob. Ooh, we got like this like wavy one. Could maybe do that. Some pigtails. Some longer one with bangs. They've just got like so many different styles. Ooh, I do like the bun. Oh, and that one's cute too. Oh, how am I supposed to choose? <laughs> do they have a bunch of different red and orange colors? This is so nice. Um, I know I've talked about this before, but it's always, um, it, it can be difficult sometimes in games because like a lot of times um, they'll have like a red color, but it's like just this. And it's just like, that doesn't like, you know, quite match like my red. So the fact that they have like three different like red shades in this one, I think is like above and beyond. So thank you, thank you devs. I'm debating on either that one or this one. I think that one might be a little too orangey, so I think we'll go with this one. What do you guys think? Oh, hang on. Hold up. Go back. I didn't go to clothes. Oh, and here's Pony's outfit here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Just can't decide on the hair. <laughs> I think I am gonna do the bun. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, all right. Oh. So many hairstyles to pick from, right? What's your name? Hi, my name's Wade. Nice to meet you. A boop and a boop. Confirm. There we go. All right. Oh, and oh, this is fantastic. You can choose your pronouns in the game too. Uh, so our options are he, him, she, her, and they, them. You'll have to stick with your name and pronouns once you finalize them. Did I spell my name right? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Oh, here we are. Oh, so they kept the name. He's Takakura in this game too. So you're Wade, huh? Yep, that's me. I'm real sorry to hear about your old man. He was a good guy. Gonna make a lot of friends in the next life, I bet. I gotta say, though, you must take after him. No average youngin' would want to pack up and come to Forgotten Valley of all places. Oh, guys, the nostalgia's hitting hard right now. But once you spend a little time here, I'm sure, you're fig I'm sure you'll figure out if it's really the life that you want. Oh, in our farm. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, I just, I, I love the original game so much. I remember even building this, this farm in like Sims 3 or Sims 4, uh, once upon a time, maybe both. <laughs> All right, this is it. Oh. This is the land your old man and I found. The buildings are run down, sure, but you can still use them. The soil's fertile enough to grow crops on too. And the music, I gotta turn it up a little bit. I think it is like a little quiet. It was like so loud before on that, uh, that character creation screen. How's that, guys? Maybe about right there? <sighs> oh, 
Also, Dave, welcome in, man. How are you? I hope you're great. See this pasture? If you spread some fertilizer on it, you'll have a place for your livestock to graze. Just like all the the um, like camera angles and, and everything are just like the same. They really stayed true to it. How about it, kid? Ready to take over the farm? On second thought. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, let's just back out now. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, let's get started. <sighs> That's what I like to hear. I'm sure your old man's cheering you on too. Come on then. Might as well give you the grand tour. Let's do it. This here's the barn. It's where you'll raise your cows, horses, and sheep. I'll take you inside later. Oh, this is new. Here's all oh, the shipping bin. Get to know it, because it's going to be your best friend. That's very interesting. Okay, so in the original game, the shipping bin, if I remember right, was in a building that was like kind of across from that entrance to the, to the barn that we were just at. If you've milk or any other products to ship, put them in there. I'll sell them for you at the city market the next morning. I guess it's nice that we don't have to like go in a building to like ship stuff. If there's something you want me to buy, write it down in the ledger here. Over there is your storage shed and your food storage. So it's not a building anymore. It's just like a, just a, like a, a cabinet. If your bag ever starts getting too full, you can throw items you don't need in one of those. I'll put the smaller items you buy and any profits you make here. Other folks might leave gifts or rewards around here. Will they now? So keep an eye out for those. Oh, this is the coop. You might have guessed, but this is where you'll raise your chickens. Mm -hmm. So much looks exactly the same. That there is one of your fields. You can plant seeds there, but you'll need a hoe to plow the soil first. Speaking of which, I got a few packs of seeds and some basic tools for you. Try using them when you get a chance. <gasps> and a fur baby! Oh my gosh! And we get to choose just like the original. <sighs> huh? Guess a couple stray dogs settled in here and it looks like they've already warmed up to you. All right, all right. I'll let you keep one, but just one, all right? I ain't a huge fan of dogs. Now, go and pick your favorite. Guys, I, uh, I think we might have to... I <laughs> gotta take both, right? <laughs> I think we might have to uh, take the one that reminds me of my, uh, my, my precious boy, who um, you can see sleeping over here. <laughs> So I think we're gonna go with the uh, the one with the floppy ears. Do that. The man, the myth, the legend, he is. <laughs> All right then, you gonna name it or what? I am gonna name him. You guys can probably guess what I'm going to name him too. After my boy, Mr. Finnegan. Sounds good. I'll try to find an owner for the other pup next time I head to the city. Whoa, Finn is a uh, no small boy anymore. He's a big chonky boy now for sure. <laughs> Guess I'll build a little one a dog house too. Or he can just sleep inside with us. That works as well. In our house, yes. I tried to fix it up a bit before you arrived, so you should be able to settle right in. Huh? Oh, my house? See that cabin over there? That's where I live. Well, that covers the main facilities. Ain't much if you save up. Maybe you can expand some of them. Oh, before I forget, I said we'd go into the barn later, didn't I? Well, it's later, follow me. So cute. In 
your first cow! Oh, I bought you a cow as a welcome present. Her feed bin is all set up over there. Oh, and she'll need a name too. All right, guys, so I named our first critter, uh, which was the doggo, of course, but I'm going to leave this one to you guys. Um, so drop your name suggestions in chat. If we have enough of them, I'll put them in a poll so you guys can decide. Thank you guys so much. Everybody who uh, suggested names and everybody who voted in the poll there too. Our first critter is named Milkshake. It's not named Milkshake, no! Um, eight characters is the cap? Are you kidding me? That is such a small character cap, why? <laughs> so sorry to uh, everyone who originally suggested Milkshake and voted for that one, but yeah, I had no idea that eight characters was the cap. That is like really small. Bessie it is. Bessie, huh? I like it. She's our first animal, so take good care of, care of her. She gave birth about 10 days ago, so she'll produce plenty of milk. As long as she's healthy, you should be able to milk her twice a day. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, yes, Bessie. You're such a good girl. I think that about sums up the farm. Oh, wait. We've got to decide on a name for it. Any ideas? No. <laughs> okay. Um, farm name ideas. Um, I'm trying to think what would be relevant to like our community and me. Um, if I hadn't already named the dog, Finnegan Farm would have been a, a nice name that had a nice ring to it. Name the farm Milk Shack. Oh no. <laughs> This is why we can't have nice things. Kellen, welcome in. Farm farm. I can't take you guys anywhere. <laughs> Could you like finny farm? Mm -hmm. uh, Ace always recommends Wade Westview. Hang on. Let me determine something first. How many characters can we do for the farm name? Is it also limited to eight? Yep. Eight characters is our cap on the farm name. Um, Animal Farm, isn't that the name of a book? Morath Farm, it's just farm backwards. <laughs> um, Juicy Farm, Flower Farm, oh, hot. um, I was thinking of my, um, my, uh, Animal Crossing Islands. I named it Honey Brew, and that made me think of it uh, golfer, honeydew. I really like that too. All right. Um, hmm. I think I am like in, I think I am like in honeydew. Maybe we'll go with honeydew farm. Let's do it. Honeydew is my favorite type of melon too. It does sound nice. Thanks so much uh, for suggesting the name to us golfer. Everybody for suggesting names. All right. Honey, oh, if I can spell right. Here we go. Honeydew Farm. Burger Farm, stop this. <laughs> farm, farm, farm. That would have fit. <laughs> Honeydew Farm, hmm, has a nice ring to it, sure. While I've got you, I might as well introduce you to the locals. Yes, please. I'm no social butterfly, but a youngin like you is sure to charm the heck out of them. Ready to go? Oh, I was born ready. Hmm, what's the matter? Um, thanks, but I'll pass on the intros. No way. Bring me to all the people. All right, let's get to it then. This here's Layover Inn. I'm trying to remember what it was named in the original. It definitely wasn't Layover. Uh, Tay runs the place with his wife, Lou. Their son, Rock, lives with them too. So Rock's name is the same. And if I remember right, Rock was kind of like always like the party animal, the one that like never like took responsibility and stuff like that. 
Oh, and there's a girl named Nami who's staying up on the... Nami? Nami? Probably Nami. Uh, up on the second floor. This is Gary and his wife, Nina. I think it was uh, Galen in the first game. Also, hi, Daryl. Welcome in, man. How are you? I hope you're great. Can't wait to see Muffy. I know they renamed Muffy. I think she's Molly now. This is Chris. Chris is the same. This is Chris's husband, Sully. I think he was Wally in the first game. And their son, Hugh. <laughs> Hugh's so cute. And look, Gavin here is the owner. Oh gosh, what was his name in the first one? Uh, oh, I'm blanking. And head barista at the Bluebird Cafe. Molly helps him out part-time. Romana here owns the villa where she lives with her granddaughter, Lumina. Their names are the same. Same with uh, the butler, Sebastian. Oh, the guy playing guitar? That's Gustafa. He's a real character, always strumming some tune or another. <sighs> okay, so this is a character that I've been like um, really excited for, um, Gordy. So in the original game, um, he was a lot older um, and um, not romanceable. So I'm really glad that they um, made him romanceable in this game. A man of few words, but a real passionate artist, apparently. Celia! Oh! That's Vesta. She runs the agricultural farm here. Hi, Vesta. Over there is Matthew, her little brother. Uh, original game, he was Marlin. Cecilia helps them both with their farm work. Oh. They sell seeds here, so take a look at their stock when you get a chance. Oh, Cecilia, best girl. I would love to do a cosplay of her. <laughs> a few other folks live in that direction. We've got the twins who craft fireworks and an oddball scientist. That's not to ask about his experiments. Plus, There is an archaeologist staying in the tent up by the waterfall there. He and his assistant dig up all sorts of weird stuff. All right, that should cover everyone. I'm sure you're exhausted. It's been a long day, so take it easy for now. If you think of any other questions for me later, don't you hesitate to ask, all right? Oh yeah, there's something I forgot to give you. This camera belonged to your old man. Ain't the newest model, obviously, but it does the job well enough. Let's try taking a test photo real quick. Say cheese! You can use it whenever you're feeling, uh, photographic. <laughs> Thanks, Takakura. Now get some rest, kid. You've earned it. I just got here. I can't sleep. Oh! Never seen a nature sprite like that before. <sighs> hey, hey, who could it be? Eats the heck out of me. Oh, Ace, are you still here? You're in this game. As far as I know, we're the only nature sprites in Forgotten Valley. Yeah, yeah. So what are we looking at then? Good question. Hey, buddy, what's your name? Hi, I'm Wade. Nice to meet you. Wade? Gotcha. So, you're a nature sprite named Wade. Roger that. The name's Ace. Nice to meet ya. 
Um, I'm Jack. Nice to greet ya. And my name's Hart. Let's all be friends, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm already, like, considering changing her hair. In some of the lighting, it looks very brown. Beginnings. Here we are. Oh, man. Oh, the house looks, like, so similar, but also, like, so different in a lot of ways. I gotta check it all out. Go to sleep? Uh, no. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, side table. So you can sleep. I guess you can save here, I would assume. Yeah, let's go ahead and write in the journal. Look at that. Wade Honeydew Farm. Beginning spring one. 5 a.m. Ooh, we're up early. Marlin's glow up is extreme, right? I, I think it's good that they made some some updates to some of the characters. Cause yeah, they they some of the original designs did not age well. <sighs> um look at them so cute. Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> yes, I'm here. Uh, I see it's true and accurate to size. That's wonderful. <laughs> What else do we have over here? We have the encyclopedia, animals, byproducts, crops. Wow. Um, I'll, I'll stay away from that for now, but if we need any help with stuff, I'll check it out. We've got a cork board now. Oh, it's the picture of me. <laughs> so precious. Um, album, nothing in here. I guess that would be more photos I take maybe. Akakura's notes starting off. Maybe this is like tutorial based stuff. Oh, we got a TV over here. She runs really fast. Oh boy, she like Sonic speedy. Ooh, oh, okay. What's the weather today, my man? Here's a six hour forecast. But we do have some light cloud cover today. The weather should be mostly sunny. Oh, didn't mean to change the channel. Oh, was that it? I thought he was gonna say more. Never mind. <laughs> Hello, it's time for the daily. The Daily Dairy. Today, we're gonna talk about feeding cows. Let's see what questions Quinn and Avery have for us. What do cows eat? Well, cows eat fodder, of course. It's best to feed them twice a day. Wow, we're gonna be busy. Twice a day, wow. But what about snacks? It'd be the worst day ever if I couldn't have snacks. Snacks are pretty great, Avery. And cows love them too. As long as they're bovine friendly. Whoa. Cows are just like us. I guess so, but cows can't live on snacks, like fodder plus alone. Make sure you feed them proper fodder. I need to. Okie dokie. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in to the Daily Dairy. <laughs> Uh, howdy anglers! Today we've asked Skylar from Dewdrop Village. Whoa, that's kind of trippy. We've got Honey Honey Dew Farm and Dewdrop Village. Threw me off for a second. Uh, Dewdrop Village to see what's biting in the rivers around here. How's the fishing, Skylar? Fish? What fish? You think I have time? Consider uh, to consider landing lurker, ooh, landing lunkers when I get wild bears and monkeys stealing my catches. Where does she live exactly? <laughs> um, because of that, I'll plumb out of food and I'm starving. What's worse, I slipped and fell in the river because I was feeling woozy. These mountain streams are cold, man. My ma didn't even let me bring a lunch on this trip. I should have known this was gonna happen. Okay, uh, I think we get the gist of things. <laughs> Thanks uh, for the report, Skylar. And thank you, dear audience, for tuning in. What did that tell us about the fish exactly? <laughs> oh, well, hello. Your luck today is good. Drink coffee for some extra energy. Today's lucky item is wild grass. Whatever that means. Okay, <laughs> we've got our cooking station over here. So I guess you can try to experiment, but you can also make by recipe too. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised I don't have any recipes yet, but I just wanted to try. You can change your look here. Wait a minute, hang on. Do I have any other clothes right now? No, not right now. Okay, all right, just wanted to see. 
and then our calendar too. So this is something I uh, do remember about the original game. The um, spring through winter calendar was always really short compared to like a lot of other like farming sims. Um, you just have 10 days each season. So definitely got to make the most of it. And it looks like um, Van is going to be here on the third. It looks like his name is the same in this game. Van's market day. Van sells rare goods. He'll buy any unneeded items. Awesome. Can't forget that. Okay. All right. Hey, wait, wait up a sec. Before you go, don't forget to check Takakura's notes. You can find him on the side table. Yeah, his notes have lots of helpful stuff in them. Check them out before you go. I mean, I thought about it, but then I didn't. Okay, um, so it looks like it wants us to check out at least these four notes here. Valley life. You got lots to learn about farming. They ain't much, but I hope these notes answer your questions. First, you gotta learn how to make a living. Try to sell any crops you pick. More profits mean more facilities. Walk around the valley and chat up the locals too. Give them enough gifts and they'll take a liking to you. Uh, seasons in the valley. We got four seasons here, spring, summer, autumn, and winter, in that order. Each season lasts about 10 days, so use your time wisely. The year goes by faster than you might think. We have a festival for each season. Check your calendar for more info. They're good times to socialize. A farmer takes a ton of stamina. Be careful you don't overdo it. Eat proper meals and get plenty of rest. If you work too hard or get hungry, you'll lose stamina pretty fast. So be sure to eat a healthy meal. And then potential partners. If you plan on staying here for the long haul, you'll probably want to find a partner to spend your life with. Hopefully you'll find somebody who really clicks with you on your first year here. Go get them, kid. So yeah, in um, this game, in order to propose to someone, you use the blue feather. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's go. Here's our precious little baby Finnegan over here. Finnegan's house, yes. I guess I can't like um, give him love while he's in there. And is the camera like a set angle? No, you can change it. Cool, awesome. All okay. right, awesome. This space is for your animals. If you have any questions about raising them, Takakura's notes might come in handy. Cool. Ooh, uh, keeping livestock. We've got a barn and a coop. Uh, if you want me to order animals, write it in the ledger and I'll bring them here. Every animal needs to be fed. Feed them daily and you'll get plenty of byproducts like milk and eggs. So this says feed them daily, but like in that uh, show that we watched, it said feed them twice a day. Maybe you'll get more if you feed them twice a day. Animals love to be brushed and snuggled too. Do that daily and you'll get higher quality products. If you're gonna run this place, you'll need cows, sheep, and goats. A horse might be good for getting around too. I can get you cows and sheep, but you'll have to buy goats from Van, the peddler during spring. I think, so if you got like the, the premium edition of this game, um, you got like a, a goat plushie with it, and I really wanted it, but sadly they only had the premium editions for um, the consoles, and I really wanted to play it on Steam myself. Hey Alpha, welcome in. How are you? I hope you're great. Uh, there's a new story of seasons coming on Game Pass. Is it is it this one? Types of animals. Some animals come in different varieties. With cows, you can take your pick from normal, brown, marble, or star. Oh, I want them all. Different cows produce different varieties of milk. So try raising as many of them as you can. Oh, look at that. That's a full barn. Livestock are raised in the barn. When you first get an animal, you'll want to pick a spot for its feed bin. The barn fits eight animals, but if you want to expand it, uh, up to 16 will fit. Oh my goodness. The barn has a fodder dispenser. Any grass you cut gets stored there. You can put fodder in there too. There's also an isolation space for pregnant animals. Put them there right before they give birth. Oh. Um, wow, there's a bunch of stuff here. Did I miss any stuff on the like previous um thing? My goodness. Um, animal isolation, animal birth, animal care. 
Okay, since there's like so many of them, I might just like leave these for like when we need them type deal. But I feel like a lot of the stuff we've read so far has been like pretty like self-explanatory. Okay, all right, let's go in. Oh, look at it. Oh, I can't change the camera angle in here, but I think that was the same from the original game too. Hi, Bessie. Bessie is pretty energetic today. Let's give Bessie some love, shall we? Give her some snuggles. Oh, oh, Bessie didn't like that. I guess I woke her up. Bless her heart. Sorry, Bessie. <laughs> so can I grab some um, hay from here? Yeah, let's just take one for now. Oh, oh, Bessie's like, food? I'll wake up for that. This is just like Finnegan. Maybe since she's got like two spaces, maybe I'll give her one more. And I guess that'll kind of tell me if she eats one or two per day. Okay, all right. Can I give you some love now, Bessie? Yeah, who's a good girl? Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's um go into the valley and let's go... Uh, well, I was about to say let's go into the valley and meet some people. Let me actually look around my farm a little bit. And did Takakura say that he gave us some... Um, some seeds. Yeah, here they are. So let's see about planting those. I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling to get used to these controls a little bit. Um, I might have to change them up. Like, it definitely seems like I was built more for, like, controller. So maybe I could, like, potentially um, grab a controller somewhere. <laughs> For us farming experts, we don't we don't need no manual. You right. <laughs> oh, wow, uh, they're putting Friends of Mineral Town on Game Pass. That's awesome. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, these are one of your fields. If you want to find out more about it, about raising crops, don't forget to check Takakura's notes. Here we go again. <laughs> Proper crop care. For crops, till your fields with a hoe before sowing seeds. Make sure you sow them in the right season, too. Each crop you grow is one of three categories, basic fruits and veggies, root crops, and tree crops. Crops thrive in different seasons, so make sure you read the labels and plant your schedule. Sorry, add to. Uh, fruits, veggies, and root crops need water daily if you want them to grow, but trees will just grow fine without it. Okay, so we don't have to water trees, good to know. Keep an eye on the shade and the color of your soil. If it's lighter, that means your crop could use a drink. And be careful when planting trees. They need space to properly grow, so leave plenty of room for them. Oh, so trees, it looks like, need like a like a three by three space. Okay, definitely good to know there too. Um, you got two small fields right now. You could probably make an amazing field out of that space in the back. Probably make an amazing field out of that space in the back. Did better, better quality soil there maybe? Soil quality. That was my next question. Soil quality varies between fields. The next field, uh, the field next to the coop isn't too fertile, but the one further out is a bit better. Some crops will only grow if the soil quality is good, so be sure you've got the right soil for the job. Don't just plant seeds all willy-nilly. Some crops just grow in certain seasons or soil types. If you want to know the ideal conditions for growing a crop, examine the bag of seeds before you grow them, or before you sow them, excuse me. If your, crop only, if your crops only grow in certain seasons, plant them as early as you can so they don't wither away. All right. So apparently, I think uh, it was said that the, hang on, hold up, which uh, this is not very good soil here, but this one is better quality, as I think what that said. I got like so much like open land over here for like expanding stuff. Oh. Okay, all right, so yeah, let's um plant some stuff here. I don't know how to um, get my tools. The music. So much nostalgia. Um, okay. Is there a, a, like, a tool belt? Like, a toolbar for this? As opposed to me having to go into my inventory each time? There's gotta be, right? I was trying to get to, like, the, the menu to see, like, my controls, but it won't let me. 
How do? <laughs> oh, but look at all of our tabs here. Um, so we've got like our friendship tab, our animals, stats about um, me and the farm, new request, and then our tools. Okay. Um, how, do I, how do I equip you? There we go. I had to hit Q twice. All right, and then. Do I just click it? Okay, we click it. This, yeah, definitely gonna take some getting used to. So, how many seeds do I have? Let me check that first. Maybe I'll like look at their uh, descriptions. Tomato seeds B will grow from spring to autumn, grows in all soil types, grows quickly. And then apple seeds B grow in all soil types. So, this is a tree. It needs a wide enough space. Begins flowering in summer and fruiting in autumn. So maybe since like the tree takes so much room, maybe we'll put that in the other um, space. And maybe we'll do the, the tomatoes here. Sorry, just trying to get used to these controls. <laughs> All right, so let's, um, oh, what did that say? If plowed crops can be planted in the field here, if plowed, okay, yeah, got it. Um, oh, to use it as E? Oh yeah, I, I don't like that at all. Okay, all right. Um, let's put you there and then do one there. So then we switch to this and hit E again. I gotta figure out a way to switch that. That is horrible. Oh, and I'm seeing um, something that we can forage over there. That's all I ever ate in the original game, so that's good. <laughs> Let's pick it up. What did we find? An aromatic herb. All right, let me put that away. I wanna read the description on it though. A fresh green herb with a strong scent. It grows in the spring, it grows in the springtime. Okay, all right. So let's also plant our tree. Um, this, and then I guess it would need to go, it could go like here, right? All right, and then we'll switch to this again. And click you, and then put you here. Okay, all right, awesome. Oh, so it automatically marked these spots out for us. That's really nice. I was like worried I was gonna like accidentally plant something there. So that works out kind of perfectly. Okay, and then for our watering, we'll get some of you. And, oh, we don't need to water trees, just remembered. But we do need to water these. On my lunch break, how is the game so far? Bringing back so much nostalgia. Welcome in, Rochelle. I'll, uh, how has work been going? I hope that the dumpster fires have been calming down a little bit. Hey, all right. Um, So, let me put that away. And now that we have stuff planted, oh, wow, you can change to like first person view? Wow, that's trippy. Um, okay, all right. Shall we go into town and, and maybe see what we can do? What's in here? Oh, is this our storage? I think we have like a cold storage and then like a, a regular storage. Our backpack inventory is like pretty big too. Okay, all right. Uh, so where are we gonna go first? I feel like I need to, oh, see a cutscene. Oh, it's, uh, it's Molly. Gotta try not to call her Muffy. Hello there, Wade. Since you're here, do you have time for a quick chat? Absolutely. I just adore this view. It always helps me settle down. The rushing water, the gentle breeze. Just don't get this in the city. That's where I used to live, you know. 
But some things went sour and I ended up moving to Forgotten Valley. Every once in a while, when I start, uh, when I'm starting out at the river or staring out at the river, I think back on all of the old heartache. Aww. <laughs> just kidding. Is she though? Is she just kidding? The clean air in the valley has done wonders for my skin. So I like to make sure I spend some time outside every day. Here, see for yourself. Thank you, Aid. You're such a sweetheart. No, you. We really should get to know each other better. I feel like you and I are on the same wavelength. Or the same wade length. <laughs> Got him. Until next time then. <laughs> Mm. Oh, Wonderland, sending you a big hug. I really hope that your day gets better. It was so good to see you. We're here for you, friend. Also, hey, Sen, nice to see you. I hope that you're having a good afternoon. Welcome in. Work is bets, unfortunately. Just need to get a new job. I hope that that'll work out soon, Rochelle. Sending you lots of love. Is anyone out in the field right now? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's go inside and see who we can find. Where's best girl Cecilia? Oh, hello. Oh, Matthew, I don't have time right now. I'm try trying to talk to Cecilia, okay? <sighs> Working in the fields tires you out. Anyway, are you here to shop? Oh, I actually have money? Oh, that's nice. Sure am, what you got? Then pick what you want. So he's got tomato seeds, watermelon, strawberry, regular melon, turnip, potato, carrots, sweet potato, peach. Ooh, he's got a lot. Wow. Are these all spring seeds? So I'm currently growing um, five tomato seeds and one apple tree, right? So I kind of would like to get all the other stuff. Here's the thing, though. I don't know how many um, um, spots that I have to grow things. Maybe we can go back and, and like check how many I have. And then we'll come back here. Well, if you're sure, come again anytime. Thanks, Matthew. Best to put more love and care into your crops than anyone I know. That's why all our produce tastes so good. That aside, did you want to purchase anything from us today? Oh, can we buy same things from her or is it different stock? Oh, same stock, same stock. I'd rather buy from Cecilia anyway. <laughs> so um, in the original game, Matthew was Marlin and I, I have like kind of conflicting feelings about him. Um, so I with like this game and the original game, the um, NPC like romance selection was definitely not uh, as as um, vast as it has been like in other Harvest Moon games and farming sims and that kind of stuff. Um, like in the original, you only got like um, three girls to choose. No, uh, well, technically three girls, but in the like um, the special edition, they added a fourth, which was Lumina. And then um, three guys in Another Wonderful Life, which was the girl version. Um, so in this game, you have four girls, four guys. So like, that's nice. And like, when I played uh, the girl version in Another Wonderful Life, a lot of times I would go for um, Marlin, just cause I wasn't like super crazy. I definitely wasn't crazy about rock. Uh, sometimes I went for like Gustafa, um, but one reason that I wasn't super crazy about Marlin was so in the original version where like you play as a guy, I think there were like some times where like Marlin like kind of like said like some sexist stuff like in regards to like women in general and like, like Celia and like I really wasn't digging that. So I really want to get to know, um, oh, what's the, the artist's name now, Gordy. Can we, can we go upstairs in this game? Oh, we can examine stuff over here. A small potted plant, berries appear to be sprouting from it. So um, another thing that I remember from the original game is that you could find um, the character's diaries in like secret spots. And it would basically tell you like how the characters like felt about you, like what their romance level was at. 
And I think in this game, you can see it just from like the menu, which is nice. But I wonder if we can find anything like that. It does kind of look like, oh, wow, he, ooh, ooh. Um, excuse me, I'm kind of stuck back here. <laughs> Hand me chest of drawers. I was more interested about the book that's, that's up there. Can I go up? I can go up. <sighs> Tiny potted plant, very well kept. Oh, and they do have the diary still in the game. Oh, that's such a nice touch. Oh, precious. So yeah, this is um, Cecilia's diary here, I believe. Rather stylish chest of drawers. Some books over there. Oh, brings back so much nostalgia. Okay, all right. And then um, let's see if Vesta is over here. Nope, Vesta's not in, but we can still look at um, some info here. Layover in tomatoes, two boxes, Bluebird Cafe. It's written on the notepad, so I guess that's just like orders that other places have put in. Damaged crops is written on the box. Uh, can I take those? <laughs> I don't care what they look like. I'm sure they're still quite juicy. To Flowerbud Village is stamped on these boxes, so they must like ship like pretty far out, even out of the valley. Is all the uh, Story of Seasons play the same? I mean, so they're all like farming sims, um, but like they they vary like from game to game. Like the, the feel of this game is very different from like the previous two games, which were like Friends of Mineral Town and then uh, Pioneers of Olive Town, I believe. So it looks like the feature I was hoping uh, wasn't uh, in the game is that being having to get married. Oh, Sen, is it in this game too? I was also hoping that that wasn't a forced feature because I remember in the first game, like if you didn't get married by the end of year one, it was like game over. I always thought that was like dumb. <laughs> it's like, why does a character have to get married in order for their life to be wonderful? Oh, look. Carter, greetings. You are the young inheritor of the farm, I presume. My name is Carter. Pleasure to meet you. If you ever wish to lend a hand at the dig site, just say the word. Oh, I definitely do. I want to do a bunch of mining. Is that something I already have equipment for? Can I just use my, my hoe, maybe? <laughs> and Flora. Oh, um, hello there. You must be Wade, I take it. Well, I'm Flora. I'm an archaeologist. I help Professor Carter with the dig site. Flora is so cute. I think it's a shame that she's not romanceable. Are there any like forageables up here that I can take? I need to be on the lookout for those. Especially like some flowers. Some flowers would be a, a good gift for a lot of the characters. If it's anything like the original game. Mila, take your time. I've never played a game from this series yet. Uh, what is the main difference between this one and the others? Um, so, ooh, hello, we'll take this herb here. Um, just trying to remember how to. There we go. So um, with the, the other ones, I think they had like more of a traditional um, like time frame, if I remember right. It's like, like longer like calendar months, if I remember correctly. Um, but also like this one, like is kind of like very unique from like any other farming sim I've ever played in that your character like actually like ages, um, has children that can age. It's, it's more like story driven, I would say. Oh, and look at all the flowers. And again, I'm just like going off of like how the original was, but I, I'm, you know, there's already a lot of similar similarities with this game. So I would imagine that it's probably going to be the same for this one too. There's some differences here and there, of course. So if, uh, if we went up this way, it would lead to like the next valley. It might be nice to visit one of the faraway towns across the pass uh, for a change of pace. The trip should take about six hours. Oh wait, can you actually go? I had no idea. Uh, no, not right now. I, I haven't even met anybody here and I still gotta go back to my farm. I didn't think it would actually let me. Okay, all right.
think we've grabbed everything from there. Just want to look around here. I'm getting feels being on this hill right now. Anybody who played the original game, you know. And if you didn't, you'll find out. So many flowers. Question is, are they stacking in my inventory? Oh, thank goodness they are. I was like, I hope they're not taking up individual spaces because we are picking up a lot here. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, got all of those. Oh, and look, is it Moko Moko? His name is Pui in this game. Maybe Moko Moko was the, was that the like Yeti thing? No, this was, oh no, yeah, that was the Yeti thing. In the original, this was Murray, I think. But here he's Pui. I'm called Pui. Traveling to Coco Island, very far away, is a dream of mine. But to get there, my purse must jingle jangle very loudly. I traded many items of mine for coins, but still it was not enough. Oh, you have the face of a good person. Yes, I can tell. Would you help your good new friend Pui's dream happen? Oh, I, oh, I was thinking it was going to let me like donate to him or something. Greetings and hello. A trip to the wondrous Coco Island is my goal, but no money uh, is a thing. Can you spare some jingle jangle? Ah, uh, here we go. Your friend Pui will sing a happy tune if you do. Oh, 1G, 500G, 100. Oh, or 50, 150 or 100. Um. I feel like I should be sparing with my money right now since you know I just started up the game and and I haven't even bought seeds yet. Um but also like 1G really isn't like anything, but it's it's something. I'll give him 1G. I'm sorry it wasn't a lot, buddy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Friend Wade is a kind soul. With these coins, I am closer to my goal. <laughs> This was so helpful. So very, very helpful. Many thanks and come back please again. He's so precious. Coco Island is so close and yet so very far away. So Murray definitely got a makeover for this game. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to him again. Oh, he keeps like talking to me. Friends of forever, Pete and Claire are taking a liking to this weather, hmm? You know, our friends Pete and Claire? They are the friends that fly around me. Oh, the butterflies. The three of us are always together. Yes, that's precious. So in the original game, I think he had like flies around him, but now he's got butterflies and I think that's so cute. Oh, another cutscene. My goodness. Yo, what's up? Is it rock? Wrong way, bud. Over here. Yep, I figured. Playing hooky from farm work to go for a stroll, huh, Wade? I see how it is. Look, buddy, I'm trying to buy seeds, okay? <laughs> hey, hey, I'm just messing with you. Don't sweat it. You looked like you were having a strong uh, a steering contest with the river, but I figured you were probably just overworked or something. Not everyone gets this level of concern from a stud like me, by the way. Just saying. Anyway, listen, you have got to relax your shoulders. I've never seen anyone so tense in my life. If you don't take time to chill, life's gonna chew you up and spit you out. Come on, let's hang out and shoot the breeze. Oh, I know that look. You're thinking, wow, this guy is so cool. I gotta know more about him, right? That, that was definitely what I was thinking. Well, first of all, thank you. I'm flattered, really. Second of all, you're in luck because I'm happy to reintroduce myself as many times as you need. The name's Rock. I live at the Layover Inn with my parents. Gotta be a good son and watch over them. You know how it is. Oh, but that's easy stuff. We gotta dig deeper. Let me tell you a few of my favorite things. Hope you're ready for this. I'm all about taking it easy. No work, no pressure, no nothing. Just me, myself, and I live in the dream. People do whatever they want in Forgotten Valley. That's what makes it awesome, you know? So you'd think an all-play, no-work lifestyle would be chill here, but everybody's got a problem with it. And I'm just like, why? That is pretty weird. Uh, he who doesn't work doesn't eat. 
unless his parents feed him. Aw, <laughs> oh, come on, you're one of them? Everybody says work is so important, but I do not get it at all. Well, you do you. I'm gonna live my best life. There's nothing anyone can do to stop me. Catch you around, Wade. See you, Rog. So you can maybe see why he was um, the character I went probably the least for in the original game. It's Gordy. Hi, Gordy. Yo, you're the farmer, right? The name's Gordy. I make art out of metal. So I mentioned earlier that um, in the original game, his character design was much different and um, like he was a lot older and um, you couldn't romance him, but he was still an artist, had like the same colors and everything. I'm trying to remember what his name was in the original game. That's something I'm struggling with. And yeah, Alpha, in this game, you, you can um, get married and have kids. Mm. Oh wait, I kind of agree. <laughs> now you see why. <laughs> oh, look at this bulletin board here. Making tomato salad. Hi, I'd like uh, tomatoes to make a salad with. Most of the ones on the farm are for our clients, so I can't ask Vesta for any. From Cecilia. Is anything you want, Cecilia, I got you, fam. I sadly don't have any tomatoes, but we definitely will within nine days. And she'll give us some eggs in return. That would be great. How can I accept this? So maybe you just like take the items to them? Maybe? It doesn't seem like there's a way for me to like take the the request. Also, I'm loving that there is even a bulletin board here because I don't remember that being a thing in the original game either. Need milky soup. Reason I need the energy. Thanks from Gordy. Milky soup. Is it you think it's just milk? <laughs> you added the information all oh, to your request list. Learn the oh. Learn the recipe for milky soup. How convenient. Can I see that? It's maybe in here? Mm. Uh, how, how do? There we go. I gotta do something about these controls. They're awful on keyboard. So I don't see a place um, for, for uh, recipes in here. So maybe I would need to go home to check them. Call dog, call horse, zoom. Interesting. Um, cause yeah, I, I don't even, I don't think I can even access like the, the options, like the menu from out here. I think I would have to go inside for that. But if anybody else knows otherwise, please let me know. But I do want to go inside to see what the recipe was for the milky soup. And um, <clears throat> we'll also see how many plots we have to plant some seeds so I can go out and buy some. Okay, so, um, make my recipe. Soups. Milky soup. So it, it's literally just milk. <laughs> a soup with a warm, comforting milk broth as its base. It, it looks just like a cup of milk. <laughs> can I, can I milk my cow at this point? Do I have a milker? Their cutscene. Oh, Vesta, Cecilia, what are you guys doing here? Hi there, Wade. Hi, Cecilia. I love you. She's so cute. How can you not love her? Sorry for the sudden visit, but we had some leftover crops after the harvest, so we wanted to share some with you. You have fields on the farm too, right? Raising crops is wonderful. I've never done anything more rewarding or fun, but it definitely challenges you to do your best. Is there anything you're having trouble with? If you have any questions along the way, uh, don't be afraid to ask. I'll do my best to help. Love her. <laughs> it's no trouble at all. I'm just happy that there's another person who shares my passion for crops. I hope you, can, you and I can be good friends. Or maybe more. You said it. You, you said it, Cece. Helping our neighbors is what we do best. Oh, is that best of talking? Hey there, Wade. Hey, Vesta. Uh, I must have lost track of time. We started chatting about the farm. 
It's fine, it's fine, no worries. I mean, she was only over here for like a minute anyway. Cece hasn't had too much of, uh, too many other folks she can talk, uh, talk shop with, so to speak. But now you're here. When she heard you were coming to the valley, she was thrilled. First in the seams to meet you, really. <laughs> She's all blushing and stuff. <laughs> Vesta? Whoops, might have said a bit too much. Still, I hope you and Cece get to be like two peas in a pod. I think we will. I'm so glad, Wei. I'm sure the two of you have lots you want to talk about, but we don't want to overstay our welcome now, do we? Where's the line from Mulan when I need it? Would you like to stay for dinner? Would you like to stay forever? <laughs> oh, no, I suppose we shouldn't. We can talk again next time you're free, okay? Sounds good. Also, I love seeing my cow out in the field. Did it automatically let itself out? Because I didn't. I kind of forgot to. Festa, is something wrong? Nah, just thinking is all about Wade. Well, hello, Vesta. You too? She seems like such a kind person. And I'm really glad she is. But how about we keep this between us girls, all right? Don't go telling Matt too much. What? Why not? Um, how do I put this? He's a little overprotective of you. I want to make sure he can be pals with Wade too. So let's not give him any reason to be suspicious of our new neighbor. Yes, please. Let me have Cecilia in peace. <laughs> yes, I understand. Bye, Cecilia. We'll see you soon. They're literally going back to your farm to buy some seeds soon. Oh, so maybe the cow was just in the field for the cutscene. Maybe I do need to like ring it here. Let your animals out? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, Ace. <laughs> Here is Bessie. Hi, Bessie. So do I have a milker? Oh, I do have a milker. Let's try it. Ooh, holy moly. Did we get four milk there? I was not expecting we were going to get four milk. I thought it was going to be like one. Okay. All right. Well, that's great. So I guess we could go ahead and make that, um, that milky soup, which is basically just milk. <laughs> oh, all right, let's do some cooking. Soup and milky soup. Yeah, I think it just uses one. Boop, boop. And how many do you want to make? Hmm. I was going to just make one for our quest, but like maybe I should make more for like, um, like if I need stamina or like to sell. I don't know how much they would sell for, but. I'm just gonna make one for now. And that way I can I can always come back and make more. Let's do that. Okay. All right. Hi Camaro, nice to see you. How are you? It's going well, going well. Thanks for asking. Uh, this game that I've been waiting for many years to come out finally came out today, so I've been super excited. How are you? I hope you're well. Oh gosh, it's already getting so late already. My goodness. Alright, so this one has one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I count that right? One, two, three, six. Okay, so nine by six, that would be whew, math. Uh, 54? Is this one the same size? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four. Okay, so yeah, they're both the same size. So in total, we have. 108 plots. But we have to remember that trees take up. Oh, what? hi Gary. 
What? Who are you? Oh, wait, right? The one Takakura mentioned. My wife, Dina, and I used to live in the city, but once we started getting on in the years, we decided to move out here for a change of pace. Oh, I need to go say hi to Nina over here. Hi, Nina. Oh, you're that new farmer, aren't you? My husband Gary and I are getting on in years, you see. So we've decided to savor the time we have left by staying here in Forgotten Valley. Hope it's a long time, Nina. So I'm gonna go over here and buy some of the seeds that we're missing. I'd like to buy like one of everything. Can I buy some from Vesta here? Hey there, how's farm life treating you? <laughs> if you ever need any crop seeds, come find me. I'm more than happy to share some extras we have. Oh, that's so sweet. Anyway, if you grow crops, you'll want to ship them out to the city. Just don't steal away my clientele, right? <laughs> Can we actually buy some from her right now? Our crops are all organic. They're good and good for you. Okay, she's a little busy right now. Oh, and then she gets up immediately right after. Oh, Cecilia's still in here. Hi, Cecilia. Is everything all right? Um, I'm... Uh, I'm here about your request. She requested a tomato. I don't have tomatoes yet. I'm just here to chat. You came all this way, so I feel bad that we don't have any snacks or anything for you. But do take your time and relax. That aside, did you want to purchase anything from us today? Yes, that would be lovely. I was worried that like her shop was going to be closed. So little, so cute. Hi, sweet potato. How are you? Okay, so we planted five tomato seeds. I think so. Okay, so let's go ahead and like buy one of those, one of each of those. The banana seeds, right? Let's see, one of them will cost you 280. Is that okay? Bring me up. Can I only buy like one thing? Are you done shopping for now? Not yet. I think I can only buy one thing at a time, which kind of sucks. Um, okay, so we just bought banana, so I need grape now. Begins flowering in summer and mm, maybe I can actually wait on that. Because this doesn't start flowering until summer anyway. Flowering in spring, fruiting in summer, we'll go ahead and get that. One forty. Just seeing the money come down already. <laughs> Sweet potato. Wait, hang on, hold up. I'm, I, wait, I'm, I'm in this game? Wait, Ace, you're, 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 you're sweet potato? Hold up. <laughs> they do have sweet potato in this game. <laughs> All right, so I just got, um, oh gosh, did I just buy the grape or did I just buy the orange? I'm already forgetting, hang on. It kind of be nice if it told you, like, as you're shopping, like, how much you have of uh, each thing, like, in your inventory already, or like in storage back home. So yeah, I did just buy orange. Okay, let's try this again. So what about peaches? They are flowering in spring, so we'll get those two. Mm-hmm, thank you. All right, and um, are you done shopping for now? Not yet. Okay, so let's see about the rest of these. Are these all, oh, so I guess you can buy all of the uh, different seed types in any season, because these are autumn, autumn to winter. Winter to spring. Summer to winter. Summer to autumn. Autumn to spring. Spring to summer. And spring to autumn. Okay. Considering the watermelon seeds are 60 each, I would kind of assume that those um probably probably sell for a bunch as well at least i would think so and the nice thing is that they carry over into the next season too okay 
So I'm not growing grape seeds right now. So with the current trees that we purchase, that would be 9, 18, 27, 36 of our 108 uh, spots. So that leaves over 72. And then I have five tomato seeds planted. This is tough. <laughs> Um, let's get some potato seeds. I want to get some stuff, like, especially for, like, recipes, too. We'll get five of those. Okay. Um, trying to do math. So... We're down to 62 spots left. Just bought potatoes. We're in autumn, autumn to spring. That brings us to 57 spots. Okay. I don't think I can buy, I don't think I can afford 57 watermelon seeds, but <laughs> let's, let's see how many we can get exactly. Ooh, I can get 24 apparently. Okay. I have nine money. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all for now. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, and come again soon. Will do. Um, also, before I leave, though, I do want to give you a gift. Let's give her um, the toy flower. I think that would be pretty. Hopefully she'll like it. Hmm, is everything all right? Uh, I'm just here to chat, but how do I give you the gift? Oh, why that's so delightful. How lucky you are. Oh yeah, here we go. It's mine. <laughs> it's all yours. You really mean it? You're too kind, Wade. I'll take very good care of it. So glad she liked it. She she is a precious flower, so I figured that she figured she might. All right, see you later, Cecilia. So let's look in our tab here at the friendship tab. So, um, do we have friendship tabs for the other characters too? We do, we do. So we have like a decent amount of flowers. Maybe I could give like one to Vesta as well and, and Matthew if I can see him again. Um, I think we'll give like a toy flower to Vesta as well. Hey Vesta. Well, well, I really like what you got there. Could I uh take it off your hands? <laughs> <laughs> Help yourself. You're sure? Nice. Thanks a lot. So sweet. I was saying hi to Sweet Potato. I was saying, uh, oh, you were saying you were in the game. It was just like funny that you said that as soon as I saw like Sweet Potatoes. I was like, wait a minute, you're a Sweet Potato? Yeah, we got Ace and Sweet Potato in the game. <laughs> we'll see who else of our community friends we can find. Um... Do you think that, that uh, Gary would like a, a flower as well? Maybe we'll give him the goddess drops, possibly. Watch. That's some kind of local plant, ain't it? I hear tell of some of them have strange effects. Okay, he doesn't want that. <laughs> Gary does not like flowers, noted. What about this one? Hmm. Hey, I've never tried any of the wild plants around here. Couldn't tell you much about them. Okay, does not like flowers, got it. He wouldn't even accept it, feels bad, man. Maybe, um, Pooey would like a flower? Pressing the wrong button, so sorry, guys. Let's try this one for Pooey. And I feel like Nina would maybe like a flower. I have no need for it. He's got enough flowers. I got you, fam. <laughs> Nina? My, that sure is nice. Hmm, you're giving it to me? Of course. Oh. Why, thank you. That's so very nice of you. Love her. 
Oh, okay. All right. Still got a bunch of flowers left. <gasps> hey, it's Gustafa. Gustafa also has a flower on his head. You look like a flower lover, my dude, if I've ever seen one. Oh, where should I play my guitar? Um, maybe I'll, we'll try this one. Hey, that looks nice. Is it for me? It is. Whoa, seriously? I owe you one. It's all good, man. But if you want to play us a song sometime, I wouldn't say no. Peach is one of your favorite flavors. Me too. I love like peach anything. Peach and mango are some of my favorites. So this is um, the mad scientist Daryl. Is Daryl still in chat? Daryl's in this game too. <laughs> Was his name Daryl in the original game? I don't remember the name Daryl for some reason. My research focuses primarily on energy efficiency. A fascinating topic, isn't it? Perhaps I'll let you sit in on one of my experiments sometime. I feel like he would not like a flower either, but we'll try it. If they don't like it, they don't take it, so that's nice. Don't waste my time. That sort of thing doesn't interest me. Yikes. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't, like, lose friendship with him. And hey, here's Gordy. I needed to fulfill his request, too. Need something? He looks like he's, like, looming over us right now. <laughs> I think he's just, like, up on a hill. <laughs> I'm here about your request. For some milk. A.K.A. Milky Soup. Thanks for going out. Uh, thanks for going to all the trouble. I appreciate it. Here, have this as a thank you. I'm really glad that when someone requests a certain recipe, um, that it gives you like the recipe for it if you don't know it already. Later. Thanks, Gordy. Um, Gordy, do you like flowers? He is like an art. He's an artist, and I mean, this might bring him some inspiration, poss possibly. Uh -huh. Oh, is that for me? Yes. Sorry, not right now. Maybe some other time though. I bet you it's because he's got his arms crossed because I think that was a thing in the original game. If they were like, had their arms crossed or they were busy, they wouldn't accept stuff. Gordy, take my flower, man. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, not seeing anything over here. We'll take some more flowers because obviously we don't have enough. Speaking of flowers, hang on. Uh -huh. Oh, is that for me? Will you take it this time? Thanks. There we go. Nice. Oh, Elizor. Uh, yours is Daryl. This is my brother Daryl. And my... Wait, no. My name's Daryl. This is... This... If... Wait, what? <laughs> Hold up. Is this, am I missing, like, a reference here? Look at this beautiful like pond area. Oh, it reminds me of the original game. So she's so showing a sleepy face right now. I wonder what time you have to like go to sleep in this game. What time it like forces you to sleep. I hope I don't like pass out at 10. I feel like there's like so much still need to do. So much I haven't done today. Can we go in here? There's a weird looking mushroom here. Eat it? I always eat the weird mushrooms. Why not? <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, we're in the tree. Hi, precious sprites. An adorable mushroom table fit for a sprite. Oh, can I teach you something fun? I learned a new recipe. I heard some humans talking about it, so it's gotta be good. Learn the recipe for quick pickles. Thank you. Oh, trying to trying to talk to Ace here. I don't have any recipes for you today. So I guess if we come back to them each day, like one of them will give us a recipe. That's super nice. Question is, can we build a friendship with them? Can I give them any gifts? I'm not seeing the sprites on here to give gifts to. Just wanting to check. All right, okay. Bye, sprites, thank you. Quick pickles. I haven't even planted like all the seeds that I have now too, oh goodness. I wonder if I'm gonna have time to tonight. Try, still have a lot of stamina. 
So it just hit 10 p.m. and it didn't make me pass out, so that's good. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Also, Atomic, nice to see you. I hope you're well. I wonder if we need to bring in our Cal too, since it's getting late, or if they'll go in automatically. I, I just don't want them to get sick. Maybe I should like look at the uh, the notes on that. I'll have to look at those inside. Okay, all right. Let's try to do some quick tilling and we will um, then get some sleep afterward, I guess. One thing. I kind of hate that I planted these tomatoes in like a weird shape. I was kind of thinking like, or if I uh, get, um, if I get, um, whatchamacallit, a sprinkler in the future, and if I bought more tomato seeds, but then I decided not to. <laughs> so don't mind me. I don't need to like till this whole plot either. At least I don't think so. Let's go ahead and start like planting some of the stuff. See how many of these I need to do. Um, how do I like scroll in my bag? So I see like there's like five tabs here, but I'm not sure how to get to the other ones. Really need to figure out controls for this game. Maybe that I can figure out inside too. Um, I'm not sure how to get to that other, that other row. Hi, Momo. Welcome in, friend. Back in my day, farming was hard. You made barely any profit. <laughs> we had no stamina bar or festivals. Kids <laughs> these days don't know. We'll see how it is in, uh, in this remake. Momo, how are you? Thank you so much for the 46 months. Guys, can we get some hype in chat for Momo? And Rochelle, thank you for dropping the exclamation pumpkin in chat for our friend Yo too. Um, Momo, how are you? Have you uh, been playing any of this game or are you planning to? Okay, so let's um, plant the tomates, I guess. Or maybe not the tomates. No, we don't have tomates. Uh, watermelon, let's do that. It's almost midnight. I kind of wonder if it's gonna force me to sleep at midnight. Nervous. So the time goes by so quickly. If it had like a slow down time option, that would be lovely. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Just like change the date. I thought it was gonna force me to sleep. Never mind. <laughs> okay. That was weird. <laughs> I bought a lot of watermelon seeds. And to be fair, I think we got like five or six more from from Gordy for fulfilling his quest. So yeah, still have no idea when it's gonna force me to sleep. Okay, so I still need 20 total spots tilled. Mm, I probably shouldn't have gone this way, but that's okay. Okay, that's six. Twelve. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Ooh, her stamina is really low too. I haven't even watered any of these things either. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, all right. Is, so I think planting does not use up any stamina, it looks like, so that's good. 2 a.m. is getting closer and closer and I have a bad feeling that I'm going to pass out at 2 a.m. So close to four years, right? so grateful for all of you guys support for so long but sadly haven't gotten the game have to uh, save money I'm, uh, caught up with other games at the moment that's completely understandable 
Well, I hope that whenever you do get to uh, play it, that you enjoy it, friend. And um, if you decide to stream it, I'm super excited to see. All right, and then uh, potatoes. All right, so it just hit 2 a.m. and I am not asleep. Is there a cutoff? Do we need to sleep? <laughs> okay, all right. I feel like watering is going to use up stamina, so let me, um, let me eat something. Maybe I can eat this herb here. How much does that give me? Are you kidding me? It didn't fill up anything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was horrible. All right, well, let me just take this other herb here. Note to self. Um, yeah, if you if you need like food, don't eat the herbs because <laughs> they're horrible. Maybe I will make some more um, milky soup after all. Jeez, that was ridiculous. Pickles. Is that like an onion? What is that? Make dish. Also, one thing that I absolutely love with the cooking is you can actually choose the quantity. Cause I'm so like used to with like um, other farming sims and, and life sims where like you can only like craft or cook one thing at a time. So yeah, that's super nice. All right, so how much stamina would this raise? That's really disappointing. It really doesn't raise like any at all, considering like how much is used up. I feel like some more needs to be like balanced there. I haven't even, I, I haven't even planted my trees. Oh, wow. Um, okay, let's um, get our watering can and see what we can do. Did that actually not use up my stamina? Maybe it is using up my stamina. It's used up a lot. Oh my gosh. What have I done purchasing all these seeds? <laughs> I thought we would be fine stamina wise, but obviously that's not the case. This is horrible. I don't think I'm going to be able to water all of these tonight. I hope they don't like die since I can't water them all. It's almost like going on 5 a.m. in the game. <laughs> And I haven't slept. <laughs> All right, my stamina is like very low right now. I, I I don't think I can do anymore. Let's let's go ahead and and get some sleep. Four four twenty. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, is this like a little like dream that we were having? Where was that? It kind of looked like it was at a school or something. Oh my gosh, it like barely raised our stamina too. To be fair, I only got like two hours of sleep, but oh, wow. We gotta figure out something, y'all. <laughs> Farm all night party, woo! <laughs> Ooh, let me um, let out my cow. Oh, wait, oh, that's, that's what I wanted. Yes, there we go. And no, don't bring the cow right back in. Thank you very much. There we are. Hi, Bessie. Nice to see you. We will. I probably should have given Bessie some food though, because there's like no like hay out here. I think there was some information about how I could plant some. I need to read up on that too. And then let's go to our milker here and use that. I obviously need to make some more milky soup or something. I'm so glad it gives you a bunch. That's super nice. Hey, all right, put that away. And I'm gonna um, 
go inside to read a little bit more about the um the barn animals about the farm livestock maybe yeah types of animals barn barn facilities raising animals Barn animals eat fodder. Cows need two meals a day, but sheep and goats only need to be fed once a day. Okay, so it's good that I put two fodder in there yesterday. I probably need to put Bessie back in there so she can actually eat today. You can feed animals by putting fodder in their bins or give it to them directly. Oh, that's good. If the weather's good, you can put your animals out in the pasture and they'll eat grass out there. If I had any grass. Water Plus can be given to barn animals. It'll boost their mood and help them stay happy and healthy. Baby animals need mother's milk to grow and stay healthy. You'll need to hand feed them bottles. Precious. Um, barn animals can be let out to pasture. They love to graze when the weather's good. It's great for their moods and you won't need to feed them either since they'll eat on their own. But if the weather turns, send them back into the barn ASAP or it'll do a number on their health. If you want to bring your animals in or out of the barn all at once, I recommend using the bell. Don't just feed your animals and call it a day. Give them all the love and care they deserve and make sure they're happy. Animals love being pet and brushed, but just keep in mind that you can't do any of that while napping. <laughs> Female barn animals can get pregnant and give birth. That process will be an important part of your farm life. This is especially true for cows and goats. After three days of mother's milk, they produce more milk for uh, 20 days. To breed your animals, you'll need a male and female of the same type, or you can order breeding from the ledger. Animals will give birth about 20 days after they've become pregnant, so plan ahead and be prepared. Wow, that's like two months. Which, I mean, like, doesn't sound like a whole lot, like, pregnancy-wise, but, like, considering the game is only, like, four months? Like, that's a lot. Animal isolation. Be sure to isolate the pregnant female right before she gives birth. Gotta make sure she stays safe. For cows, isolate the mother when her udders turn red. Um, I like in the picture, too, they're blushing. <laughs> isolate goats and sheep when their cheeks turn red. That is so cute. <laughs> Um, newborn calves will take 10 days to reach maturity. All kids and lambs will take eight days. Take good care of them. Feed baby animals, their mother's milk. Not only will it help them grow, but it'll also strengthen their bond with you. Cows and goats produce milk. Cows can be milked. Well, cows can be milked twice a day. See, this is why I should have read stuff. I could have milked Bessie another time yesterday. Goats can be milked once a day. Mother's milk is produced uh, for a few days after an annual, or an annual, what? Animal gives birth. Be sure to feed it to the baby animal. Uh, for 20 days after the birth, an animal will give more milk than usual. After that, you'll have to have her give birth again. You can milk a cow every 10 hours or so, which means you can milk them twice a day, so plan accordingly. Is that all on there? Yeah. Uh, both rams and how do you say it? Ooze? Uh, give wool. As long as you're well fed, it takes about five days for a new coat of wool to grow in. Happy, healthy sheep will give higher quality wool, so be sure to properly care for them. Chickens produce eggs, but with our coop, we can accommodate other egg-laying birds too. I see like a, like a derpy duck in the background. <laughs> All birds raised in the coop will eat from the shared feed bin. The coop can house eight birds, but if you expand it, it can hold 16 of them. So same as the barn. Coop has a large feed bin, and the birds will eat uh, on their own if it's full. You can't hand feed them like cows. Hang on. So the coop, the coop has a large feed bin, and the birds will eat on their own if it's full. Okay. Okay. Uh, the coop's also got an incubator. If you leave a fertilized egg there, it'll hatch after a few days. Birds eat, you guessed it, bird feed. If the coop spin is out of feed, you can order more. Uh, if the weather's good, you can let your birds outside and they'll find food on the ground to eat. Nice. Birds can be uh, let out to graze on the farm, take them out whenever the weather's good. 
Birds love the great outdoors, and you won't have to feed them either. Weather is bad, got it. So you can pick up the birds, let them in, but don't hesitate to use the bell to front. Yeah, same as the barn. Uh, don't just feed your birds, be done with it. Be kind to your birds. Full fed chickens will lay eggs daily. Uh, if you raise a male and female bird of the same type, the female may lay fertilized eggs. To hatch a fertilized egg, you can put it in the incubator or let a bird warm the egg for a few days. Oh. The hatching will take about five days to mature. Remember, only adult females will lay eggs. So I know, like, one of the questions I had was, like, could you, like, keep the animals out overnight? And it didn't say anything about overnight. Um, but it did say... It did say about, um, like, don't let them, leave them out in the rain, obviously. Oh, and look, some grass is growing over there. Oh, good. Well, I'm still gonna put, um, some food in Bessie's pen. It says there's, like, 26 left in there now, so not a whole lot. So when she comes back inside, if she's hungry, she can get some foodsies. All right. And uh, let's see how much stamina I have so I can maybe water some of these crops. Maybe, just maybe. Okay, um... Keep pressing the wrong buttons. Probably should have saved too. I don't think I saved while I was inside. Probably should do that. Gotta get uh, into town and meet some other people too today, because I definitely did not meet all the people yesterday. I mean, we kind of met most of them with um, Takakura, but I don't feel like that counts. Pronounce like you, thank you. Thank, thank you. <laughs> oh, my stamina. This is killing me. I don't feel like I can like water anymore until like I like make something else or something. This is awful. Again, probably would have helped if I slept a little more. I'm assuming so, but yeah. Okay, all right. Let's put that away. Um, let me go inside. I'll save. I also wanna see too if um, I can access like the options menu from here. It doesn't look like it. I would assume maybe just on the main screen then. Um, write in journal. We'll save to here. Okie dokie. Well, since we just saved, I, I kind of want to see. So I was I was gonna say like I wanna see if we can get back to the main menu to change like settings. But I don't see like a, a, an option to get back to the main menu either. You just have to like force close the game. Let me let me see if that'll work since I just saved. Quit the game. Yeah, I had to like like force close it for this to pop up. That would have been rough. There were just like so many like really weird options. And now I feel like I'm gonna have to like kind of relearn it since I rebound everything, but I feel like this will be a little more comfortable for me. Okay, all right. So I, we're gonna um, go out and see what we can do today. I already don't have like any stamina, so that's great. <laughs> Didn't water like all of my crops, but um yeah, we we can we can see if there's any new requests here possibly. No new requests, never mind. We can say hello to people. Hey, hey how's it going? Or how you doing? <laughs> Completely misread that. Um I would like to see about giving him a gift. Do you think he would like flowers? I know I'm giving flowers to everybody, as long as they like them. So we have a bunch. I think I've seen those growing along my jogging route. All right, doesn't like flowers. Got it, got it. Got you, fam. It's N N Nami. Everyone's in such a good mood when spring rolls around, but I don't get it. What's there to be excited about? Considering she wasn't excited about spring, I feel like Nami's probably also not going to like flowers, but we'll try. 
Uh, you like those? You're pretty weird. <laughs> oh man, destroyed in five seconds. <laughs> Okay, all right. Um, let's let's go in here and see what we can get up to. Uh, oh, and uh, Rob Valentino, you guys are both playing on Switch. I feel like it would probably be pretty comfortable to play on Switch, like controls wise. I think the last story of seasons I got on Switch. All the nostalgic music, I love it. Spacious, easy to use kitchen. Some mouthwatering dishes are lined up on the counter. So I want to say, like, in the original game, like, if you looked in certain places, you could find recipes. Easy soups to know and love. Sweet potato soup it is just sweet potato. Okay. Uh, tom tomatoma soup? Tomato and carrots. Learn the recipe for sweet potato soup. Learn the recipe for tomatoma soup. That is amazing. Love that. Justice produce. A variety of drinks and fresh fresh vegetables are stuffed in here. There must be uh, these must be Lou's favorite ingredients. Ornate dishware or dinnerware uh, sets lined up here must be part of Tay and Lou's collection. Oh, uh, there's a recipe for quick pickles. We actually do know that one already. Is anybody upstairs? Hello. No answer. Must be sleeping. That's rock. <laughs> if it's somebody sleeping, it's definitely him. <laughs> All right. I think we've seen everything that we can in here for now. Looks convincingly, really convincingly realistic. It's a fake plant. It does look pretty real. Okay. All right. So, um, anything that we can steal? I mean, check out over here. Don't think so. It's a beautiful, like, little garden, though. Ah, oh, you're the new farmer that moved in, aren't you? Wait, right? How's life in Forgotten Valley been treating you? You know, I myself ended up here after traveling all over the world, and before I knew it, I was running the inn. Precious, very precious. Seems like a very nice man. Oh, and we can, like, open a shop here to sell stuff. Not that I really have anything right now, but when I do... <laughs> And Molly! Hi Molly and Gavin too. Hey there, hope you'll swing on by and visit us at the Bluebird Cafe anytime you need some rest after a long day's work. I think it'd be pretty cool if we could romance Gavin. Just saying, just throwing that out there. When you're feeling worn out, a nice refreshing drink is just the thing to perk you up. I feel like Molly would definitely like a flower. Let's definitely give her one. Maybe even Gavin one too, he might like one. What a lovely flower, is it for me? Uh, yep, sure, if you want it. Uh, no. It's interesting that with Molly, there's um, three different options, because I feel like with all the other characters, it was, it was just two. Hey, Southern Gal, nice to see you, friend. How are you? I got a Steam Deck, yes! So I can enjoy it on PC and handheld. I love my Steam Deck. I'm so glad you got one, too. I plan on doing the exact same thing with this game. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just made my day. Thank you. I'll put it in my room. So sweet. And then, um, maybe we could try giving the goddess drop to Gavin? Possibly? I recognize that flower. It blooms around these parts, don't it? Okay, all right. No flower for him. <laughs> we tried. All right, and their room is locked too. So out we go. And, hmm, where do we want to go from here? Anybody in the houses? Not here. Ooh, but in here. The music is just like the same and it's just like so like catchy and good. It's just like revamped and I love it. Some awards sit proudly on the shelf. Hi, Chris. Oh wait, is your farm doing well? If you ever end up with dairy surplus, I'll gladly take any extra milk. Oh, okay. Full beans, full beans. So good. Hi, little Hugh. Oh, you're that person from the farm. Yes, I am. Hey, let's play a word chain game. The category will be veggies. I'll start. Um, tomatoes. Wait, those are fruit, huh? I would say that they're a veggie. I think you did great, Hugh. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Hey, I'm leaving soon. Oh, okay, all right. 
I just wanted to like look through y'all's house a little bit, but I should probably skedaddle since y'all are heading out. Oh, I guess I caught Chris just in time because she wasn't in there either. Oh, yep, there she is. So um, in the first game, this is where the twins lived and we haven't met them yet. So let's see if they're in here. Griffin, that was his name in the old game. You're right. Thank you, Mila. Hello there, I'm Cole, second best crafter of world-class fireworks. Good to meet you. And just in case you're wondering, my twin brother Charlie's the best. I'm trying to remember the twins' names uh, in the first game. It definitely wasn't Charlie and Cole, but I did le read like a little bit about um, how the, the localizing team revamped some of the names. And apparently for Charlie and Cole, it's like char charcoal. Um, which I guess they, they felt worked well with the whole, like, fireworks thing. Welcome to the valley. Name's Charlie, crafter of the world's best fireworks. Don't confuse me with my brother Cole. Uh, his are only second best. Wow. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like his brother was so nice and he's like, yeah, my brother's the great. And he's like, yeah, nope, I'm the best. <laughs> At least they're self-aware, I guess. Is Gordy in here? Party's not in here. Okay. So, like, for this um, playthrough. Hey, Umbra. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank good you. Good morning, friend. Good morning to you, too. How'd you sleep last night? Hope you got some good rest. Thanks so much for the 21 month resub. Guys, can we get some hype and chat for our friend Umbra? Welcome back to the sub family. I see Gordy over here. Oh, and cutscene. Gordy cutscene already? Hello? Gordy okay? I, I don't want to like startle him, but hey, what are you doing? Well, at least he was gentle. <laughs> Thinking. <clears throat> Need to pour some more water too. This is so precious. Uh, something's glowing, apparently. Ever changing. Splash, sway, the waves rise, then return. Oh, okay. Well, uh, see you later. <laughs> So, um, since Gordy wasn't romanceable in the first game, um, the original back, you know, 20 years ago, he's definitely one that I'm like very much considering romancing in this game. I feel like it, it'd probably have to be either him or Cecilia for me. Cecilia is best girl. All right. Um, and Gordy, I think he did like flowers. Did I just eat something? I did not mean to eat that. Okay, all right, great. <laughs> I think I'm already gonna have to uh, change um, keys to something else possibly. Yo, how are you? Oh, is that for me? Of course. Sorry, no, oh, he's got his arms crossed. Gosh darn it. Do you like not wanna do that? <laughs> all right, we'll just have to keep that in mind. Gordy has not gotten a gift today. Just gotta remember that. Okay, all right. How about we um, go see if Daryl is in his lab? And otherwise we'll go up to uh, Romana's mansion. Hi, Daryl. Daryl does not like flowers. We did find that out. Oh, hello. Keep your mitts off the machinery, you hear me? <laughs> all right, buddy, I'm out. <laughs> I don't want none of that too early. It's 2.18 2 p.m. <laughs> All right, I think I went in both of these homes. Well, one of them. The other one I couldn't. Let's go up here. Lumina, hi! Oh, wait, how do you do? So nice to see her. Hang on, hold up. Lumina, would you like a flower, per chances? Oh, 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 I'm trying to give it to you. 
oh, I simply love what you have there. I would hate to presume, but is that for me? All yours, baby girl. I mean, uh, what a thoughtful gift. My thanks. She looks like so grown up in this game. She's so precious. Love her. Love her. All right, let's make our way up here. See if we can find Romana and Sebastian. Had a good sleep. Glad to hear it, Umbra. This makes me think of the old DS game at the beach. Kai was there in the summer. Oh, is she... Girl, are you tired already? It's 3 p.m. <laughs> Uh, Kai was there in the summer. Uh, he, yeah, yeah, Mila. Oh, man. You just brought, like, back a, a trip of nostalgia there. I do remember that. I really liked his character design. He was the, the first one that I went for. Was that in... Uh, DS Cute or something? Am I thinking of the right one? Or was that, like, one of the later Story of Seasons ones? Kitties. No answer in there. Oh, hi, Sebastian. Ah, you're the valley's new reticence. Wait, yes? Managing a farm is sure to be taxing, but I wish you success in your travels. For my part, I shall endeavor to serve Mistress Romana to the best of my ability. There's a picture of a beautiful building on top of a chest, with some sort of note poking out of the frame. Stew up a potato and a carrot for a nutritious soup. Learn the recipe for- Ooh, mystery. Okay. Can we look over here? I'm just being nosy right now. I find this the perfect place to set one's mind at ease, though perhaps I am biased in that regard. Can we pet the kitty? We we can we can hold the kitty. This villa cat is definitely adorable, but you can't take it outside with you. Watch me. <laughs> I don't think I can like snuggle the kitty, at least right now, unfortunately. Here, we'll uh, pick up this kitty too and talk to it. Okay, all right, we'll put you down as well. Anybody home? Nobody in here. Maybe some more recipes we can find? Expensive looking ceramic dishes and gleaming silverware decorate the inside of the cupboard. Doesn't look like anything's been served yet. The kitchen may be old, but Sebastian keeps it tip top shape. How to make marinade? Any fish? Aromatic herb, tomato, or turnip? I don't know if I have a. Do I have a fishing rod? doesn't look like I have a fishing rod yet, so I'd probably have to like purchase that, I would assume. All right, we'll go upstairs and see if, uh... oh, you know what? This is Romana's room, but yeah, no, she's not in there. So maybe she's either upstairs or in town somewhere. It's locked. There's a bunch of yarn wrapped around this tree. One of Romana's practical jokes, perhaps? Why would that be a practical joke though? <laughs> A well-tended plant with bright uh, bright green leaves. There's a tiny piece of paper on the floor next to it. I can make a stew with two potatoes and some milk, but can you learn the recipe for... Ooh, another res uh, mystery recipe. I think this is Lumina's room here. Yeah, okay. So yeah, Romana must be somewhere else. I haven't gotten to say hello to her yet. It was yes, cute, nice. Um, he was the best of the uh, <laughs> the best of the basic bachelors. Don't you doing my my man Kai dirty like that, Mila? <laughs> Why, hello there, sweetie. You're more than welcome to visit whenever you find yourself time to spare. She's so sweet, Romana. Can I give you a flower? Did we give one to? Did I give one to um? To Sebastian. I can't remember if I did now. I don't think I did. I need to go back inside. Oh, gracious, is that for me? <laughs> you bet. Why, thank you. I'll treasure it always. I love their noises. <laughs> All right, um, let me go back inside and see if I gave one to Sebastian because I can't remember. Hi, JLs. Nice to see you. Wait, JLs, it's not... It's not Monday. It's Tuesday. Threw me off. I was like, wait a minute. Hold up. Mm. All right. Let's try to give this to him. My word. Now that is something indeed. I can see its tremendous, qual 
tremendous quality at a glance. I dare not assume, but might that be for me? It is. <laughs> he sounds like a pleasant old man. You are most kind, most kind indeed. My deepest thanks, madam. I shall relish it. I'm glad we came back to give one to him, because yeah, I couldn't remember if I did or not. Hey, all right, so let's back out of here and then, hmm, I would uh, do some more watering, but like I don't want to like pass out either and it, it kind of looks like we will soon. So maybe tonight we can actually get like some early sleep possibly. <laughs> Since I definitely didn't do that yesterday. Well, 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 that's a pretty deep well. I see what you did there, game. Is the bar open now? The music's so good. You looking to buy something or let's see what they've got that we can order. You got it. What can I get you? So we've got orange soda, lemon soda, herbal tea, blue blend, classic cake. Oh, that looks so good. And a club sandwich. Nice. I don't have any money right now, um, but I'll keep that in mind. Here in Forgotten Valley, everyone marches to the beat of their own drum, live in how they please. Hope you find life here worthwhile too. Everybody's so nice. Maybe except for Daryl. Daryl wasn't very nice. Okay, all right. Um, And I think the only person I, I wasn't able to give a gift to today, I think, I don't think I've given any to Vesta and um, Cecilia. I don't know if I tried to give one to Matthew either yesterday, but also I wasn't able to give one to Gordy. So hang on, can I see where they are here? Maybe we can also try to give some to, um, to, uh, oh, what's her names? Carter and Flora. It's a bunch of people I just wanna win their trust and become friends as soon as possible. Um, so it's showing that both of those are there, but, um, I was trying to find Gordy on here. I'm not seeing him on the map. Maybe he left town. There was, um, that option for us to, like, go up the hill and, and leave town. Oh, he's here. He's on the path. Okay. All right. Cool. So maybe that, that's, uh, I wonder if any of the characters can go there sometime. I would assume so. Hey, Rock. I don't think I tried giving a flower to rock. Ah, spring, the perfect season for everything. Wanna go chill out under the cherry blossom sometime? Man, I've got barely enough time to sit down right now. <laughs> um, but maybe if we sit down, maybe it could give us some more stamina, possibly. Possibly so. Uh, rock, will you take my flower, please? Uh -huh. huh? What's that plant for? That's a nope. <laughs> okay, I tried. But I know that Gordy accepted it yesterday. Oh, pressed the wrong button, sorry about that. It looks like he's still got his arms folded though, so I don't think he'll take it. But I think Gustafa did yesterday. Hey. hey there, friend, having a good evening? Hey, that looks nice, is it for me? That like, hey, that he said, that like sounded like a, like a familiar voice actor. Who did that sound like? I got like uh, a flashback of like somebody. I'm not sure who. Okay, he doesn't have have his arms folded. Hang on, hold up. Uh, this and then this. Uh -huh. Oh, is that for me? It is. Thanks. I should look at their friendship tabs and see if like it's actually like increasing at all. <laughs> Hopefully so. Oh, we got a bunch more flowers here too. My goodness. Um, put away. I kind of do want to change my put away button. I set it to you. I think it was like escape before, but I definitely want the escape to be um, the menu. Maybe I could change put away to like, maybe that to backspace or something. I, Pooey did not like flowers. We did try that. Mm, 
my basic, I mean base game, I gotcha. You're able to use the Game Boy Mineral Town. Yeah, oh man, I forgot about that. I never did that myself. I don't think I had like the, the cord for it to connect them. Can I teach you something fun? I learned a new recipe. I heard some humans talking about it, so it's gotta be good. Caprese salad, very nice. Can we learn anything from the other dudes or is it just, just one per day? Never wants to talk to Ace for some reason. Have to like click like a bunch of times. All right, awesome. So we'll back out of here. And oh, I still didn't um, try giving flowers to Carter or Flora or um, haven't given any to Vesta, Cecilia, Matthew today. We'll try to see if we can get together with any of those people. But after that, we'll sleep. Have a bit earlier of a sleep than we did yesterday. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was bad. That was bad. Let's go up here first, maybe. Remember when uh, these drinks used to be like three to, 300 to 500. I could never afford uh, never afford to relax. I think I remember that too, sweet potato. Now that you bring it up. Hi, hey, Flora. She's so cute. Um, hello, or good evening. Time flies when you're digging up ancient wonders, I guess. <laughs> Spring puts me in a good mood. There's just something about all the blooming flowers that cheers me up. Flowers, you say, Flora? Well, hello. Oh, did you pick that around here? Botany's, out, uh, botany's outside my field of study, so I don't know much about what you've got there. She literally just said that she liked flowers and she won't accept my flower. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm assuming same for Carter then. No, no flower for you, my dude. <laughs> Greetings, Wade. How are things? Oh, what a lovely little flower. Yep. Okay. All right. I tried. I like their, their tent. That's super cute. I really do want to um, try some, some mining here soon. Just been like so busy just trying to get our crops growing and everything before the season ends since they're so short. And um, tomorrow will be our first van day. Oh, I just thought about that. So tomorrow is going to be the first day that van is in town. But the problem is I don't have any money to buy anything from van. <laughs> Maybe I should have uh, saved some, some money. <laughs> oh. Is anybody still awake? Oh, they are, thank goodness. Hi, Vesta. Hey. hey, welcome. Long time ago, I owned a farm much closer to the city, but the soil quality there was awful. That's how I ended up moving on down to Forgotten Valley. So you looking to buy something today? Not with my lack of money, that's for sure. Thanks for asking. Okay, well, oh, I like what you got there. Could I uh, take it off your hands? Absolutely. Didn't even have time to like hit the button to approach her. She just saw it and she was like, ooh. It looks like she has some of these flowers on the table already, so that's funny. Hey, Matthew. Hey, good to see you. <sighs> Working in the fields tires you out. Not here to buy anything, but we will see if you like a flower too. Hey, uh, I'm gonna sleep soon. Okay, all right, well, let me try giving flowers first. Yeah, that's a wild plant. What about it? Okay, all right. No no uh, flowers for him, I guess. Oh, and Cecilia's already sleeping. Gosh, I missed my opportunity to to give her a, a flower, unfortunately. Okay. I wonder if she went to sleep at 10 or if it was 9. Okay, all right. Well, we will go down here first and see if there's any more flowers that I can pick. Doesn't look like it. All right, so we will go and get some sleep. Earlier sleep than we got last night slash this morning since I went to bed like at like a little past 4 a.m. <laughs> These games helped me so much uh, in my later teenage years. They were my escape. I feel you there. I love these games so much. This one was a... Uh, my favorite uh, in my childhood, and it still means a lot to me. Oh, and I just remembered too, before um, we go to bed, we can milk the cow twice. 
So hopefully I have the stamina for that. If it uses up stamina, actually it doesn't look like it did. Thank goodness, thank goodness. All right, so let's blow this popsicle stand and we will I would really like to water some more crops. So I was thinking about going inside and making some more milky soup. Um, do I have to put that away first? Yeah, there we go. So we're like getting like so many um, recipes already. Apparently I'm only missing one salad recipe. Hmm. I wonder where I can find that from. And for the soups, I'm only missing one soup recipe too. But sadly right now I can only make milky soup. That's all I have ingredients for. <laughs> so yeah, let's, um, let's make some of this. Okay, all right. Let's see about watering some of our crops and planting those trees before we go to sleep. I know I was saying we're having an early night. I might have lied. Can I have another one of those? Um, okay, let's see how that does for what we need to do. I feel like we're gonna need to drink some more, but we'll see. Thankfully we don't have to water the trees, so that's nice. Okay, so let's, that scared me. Hey, Wade, come here for a second. Yeah, yeah, come over to the forest. We'll be waiting for you. <laughs> All right, hold that thought, uh, plants. <laughs> the spring's still fast asleep. Where the heck's the goddess? That's what this place needs. I bet you she got lost. There's a lot of stuff that needs to happen before the goddess can come here. For one thing, it's gotta look like spring, uh, like a spring fit for a goddess. We gotta make all the animals who live nearby as happy as can be. And we've gotta collect a bunch of wonderful things. So let's get to it. We'll gather up all the wonders we can find. Yeah, to make this place even more wonderful. But what makes something wonderful anyway? Are we all ready? Time for a wonderful adventure. A wonderful life, if you will. Adventure, adventure. Oh, bye guys. But what are we even looking for? You're so cute. <laughs> all right, I am, oh, I was about to say I'm running back home, but actually um, there's a bunch of flowers here that I would like to take. Why did that not work? There we go. Mm. All right, any more that I might have missed? Don't think so, at least right there. There might be some more over here. Yeah, a couple over here. Thank you, and you, and this one too. It's already 1 a.m. I said I was gonna go to bed early tonight. <laughs> I can't keep doing this. <laughs> oh man. I wanna be chatted to, I'm so sorry, Ace. Your character was just being a little bit difficult. Okay, oh look, get some of our stuff already growing here. Okay, so let's um, equip you. And then hopefully I still have some water in here. It looks like I do. We're gonna try to water all of these and plant our trees before we go to sleep. Will it be after 4 a.m. again? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and drink some more milk. See how that does for us. All 
I don't think I need to do like those right now, but I do need to do some of these. So yeah, we're definitely gonna need some more milk. Okay, and then we'll switch over to here again. Out of water. Oh, and there's a, a little uh, herb here that we can pick up. We'll put you away, take that, and back to my watering can. Oh, I didn't mean to water that one, but okay. And we'll do one there, and then here too. Okay, so let's go down here and we'll plant that there. We'll plant you here. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. And then do I have enough stamina to plant this one? I don't think you need stamina, <clears throat> excuse me, for the planting per se. I need to get some tea here soon. Keep pressing the wrong button. There we go. All right, guys. So last night I went to bed at like 420. Oh, I didn't mean to eat that, whoopsies. Um, we're going to bed a little earlier to tonight. It's 3.50. <laughs> <laughs> Gary and Nina, I love them. Hey, there's a note from Takakura. Hope you're getting used to things here. Check my notes if you have any questions, Takakura. Oh, interesting. What's in your house, how to cook, learning recipes, playing records. I left a record player in your house. Every job's a little easier when you've got a good tune to whistle to. This game just has like so many good tunes. You get your hands on any new records, put them on the record player and you're all set. We've got a lot of music lovers in the valley. If you get along with them, they might give you an old record or two. Nice. And it's 6 a.m. I have almost half of my stamina, so we could probably water some more stuff, maybe, possibly, possibly. Okay, um, let's go over here and we'll probably let out our cow. Just wanted to make sure that Bessie had some, some grass to eat. Definitely been better, but finally getting back into cozy gaming content, so that's nice. Glad to hear it. You've definitely been missed. I'm sorry to hear about, um, you know, could be better type deal, but I'm glad that you're here. It's really nice to see you, and I really hope that things get better for you, ma'am. Uh, wrong button there. I need to do this, and we'll grab our milker, and I guess we'll talk to her first. It's nice to talk to people before you milk them. Bessie looks healthy and content. Awesome. Will you, oh, oh, she didn't like that. Can I, okay. What if I pet you first? Can we give you some snuggles, Bessie? Oh, she did like that. Okay. I think she's still just a little sleepy. We might need to, we might need to wait before doing some milking. Or it might be too early from last night, possibly, possibly. Okay, so that's good. Um, so we'll go outside, see if anything needs watering. And then we'll um, get a move on for the day. <laughs> Tina, thank you, thank you so much for that tier one sub. Did anybody force you to sub against your will there? Was that voluntary? <laughs> Welcome to our sub family. I hope you enjoy your badge, your emote, special role in Discord. Guys, can we get some hype and chat for Tina? And that tier one sub. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm glad I, um, well, you know what? I was about to say I'm glad I didn't plant something like right in the middle here because we wouldn't have been able to water it, but thankfully I can walk in between these, so that's good. Oh, wow, she really jumped there. I want to say in the original game, if you planted like um, something that grew on a vine like that, I don't think you would have been able to get to the middle one, but I could be wrong there. Making a delicious smoothie for breakfast. Oh, Umbra, make me one too. I may have actually had a smoothie earlier this morning, but I'll take another. I'm a smoothie fiend. I kid you not, like I usually have like one a day. 
if not every other day. Okay, all right, so that's good. I don't think we need to water those. It said we don't need to water the trees. They, they look like they need watering though, don't they? <laughs> I'm just like concerned that they're not growing, but I I don't I think it's that we don't need to water the trees. So I'm I'm just going to I'm just going to leave it. But we actually got everything watered today. I'm impressed. I'm amazed. So yeah, let's uh, go into town and and meet Van for the first time. If he's here, it actually might be a little too early for him. We'll see. We'll see. Oh. What was whoa, what was that? Navigating the valley. It like went away so fast. I must have like accidentally clicked it. There's like some text there. Feels bad, man. Is Van in town? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so we'll have to wait a little bit. So maybe, just maybe, we could go up to Carter's and see about maybe doing some some mining. Assuming we use our hoe for it. I don't have like a pickaxe or anything like that. Hi, Flora. Um, good morning. It's a great day for digging, don't you think? I do think so. I was just about to head that way. Great minds think alike. Oh, there's Van. Where did he come from? <laughs> Hi, Vesta. Hi. Hey, good morning. If you're planting seeds in spring, tomatoes and watermelons are the way to go. Strawberries and potatoes are risky, but you can make them work. Yeah, that's where we're trying at least. All right, we are going to give a flower to Vesta. I wonder if I can give one to Van. He'd probably just be like, hey, you wanna sell this? Well, well, I really like what you got there. Could I uh, take it off your hands? Absolutely. You sure? Nice, thanks a lot, no worries. Oh, so let me uh, go back here to Van and say hello. Good day. I am but a humble traveling salesman who wanders the world. I offer others the chance to own a number of rare and unique items. My wares will be available for purchase on the 3rd and 8th of every month, so please drop by. I plan on it. Let's see if we can give Van a flower. I do not deal in seeds, but if you truly wish to sell it... Oh, yeah, no. I'm, I was just seeing if you wanted it. <laughs> But I guess that's a no. <laughs> we'll say hi to Carter, too. <laughs> ah, good morning, Wade. Nothing bolsters the spirit quite like the good weather. Don't you agree? It is quite nice. It's so beautiful here. All right. Um, can we read something here? No. So let's see if we can use our hoe for this. Oh, I actually don't think that this is going to work. I think we need some kind of other tool. I was hoping that this would work. Can I, is there anything in Takakura's notes about this? There's a dig site by the waterfall. If you help out the professor there, he'll let you keep anything he doesn't need. How do I, how do I help him? Maybe he would have to be in here and I would have to ask him. That's another thing I, I can't really remember too much from the original. So yeah, maybe, maybe I just can't do that right now. But Van was heading to uh, sell some stuff. So maybe we can do that. And give out some flowers to Cecilia along the way because I didn't get to see her. Look at precious Pooey over there. Love him. Hi, Cecilia. Hmm, is everything all right? Uh, I'm just here to chat. <laughs> Hi there, Wade. Isn't it a wonderful morning? Let's make the most of it. It's such a joy to see all the flowers and plants reinvigorated this time of year. I agree. Um, speaking of flowers and plants, um, can I maybe give you this, ma'am? Maybe? Possibly? Just here to chat again, I guess. And this is all yours. You really mean it? You're too kind. I'll take very good care of it. Glad you like it. Ooh, also, I don't think I've, um, tried to give a... A 
flower to, oh gosh, I'm blanking on her name. Let's talk to her first. Hang on. Hello. How are things with you? Getting used to work yet? If you ask me, it's best to go out, uh, go your own speed. No need to rush things. I mean, you kind of do when the time goes by so quickly in this game. <laughs> All right, Lou, would you like this flower? What you got there? It looks fantastic. Okay, well, apparently not fantastic enough to take. <laughs> Feels bad, man. <laughs> but I do see Gordy over here. Let's go say hello to him trying to build up all my relationships with the characters. Yo, how are you? Need something? Um, I need to give you a flower, but you've got your arms crossed right now, so you're probably not gonna take it. So we'll just have to wait. Let's look at um, the friendships, shall we? Um, This button. Here we go. Ooh, so I think when I did try to give um, gifts that the people didn't like, I think it did bring their friendship down. I was hoping that it wouldn't, but yeah, Nami, hers is like not in the middle anymore. Cecilia and Molly, they have increased a little bit. Right, yeah, anybody that I tried to um, give one to that didn't like it went down. Ooh, well that's not good. I've been giving flowers to Gordy, but his friendship is going down. He's been taking the flowers. Does he not actually like them? Maybe I need to figure out something else for Gordy. Gosh, I wonder what he would like. If I get, can get in his house, maybe I could like figure it out. Hmm, this is difficult. Trying to make friends and stuff. <laughs> I don't know if I tried to give flowers to the to the twins, did I? Mm. I think I probably did. I bet you Charlie did not like the flower and maybe Cole did. I mean, he does have a flower like on his on his overalls, so like that that is you know, kind of a telling sign that that perhaps he does like flowers. There isn't any noise coming from the top of the tower. The twins must be out. Oh, okay, all right. Good day to you, Forgotten Valley. I am open for business. Yes, not that I can buy anything right now, but yay. <laughs> yes, come peruse my wares at your leisure. I am certain I have that, I have all that you need. Probably all that I need and want, but not that I can afford. Yeah, I kind of overdid it with the seeds, but you know, be helpful. Can't make money if you don't spend money. That's what I'm telling myself. Welcome to my humble place of business. How may I be of service? I want to, uh, you know, at first, uh, let's see um, what he has. Has something piqued your fancy? So we can buy a fishing rod from him for 500, a brush for 1,000. Both of those will be really helpful. Energy drink restores energy. Do not drink more than one dose at a time. Stores a bit of, so this restores energy. This restores stamina. Do we have separate meters for those? Restores a lot of stamina. Entry outfit. Okay, that's all he's got for now. Yeah, those two tools uh, especially would be really nice to have. I wanted to see how much our stuff we currently have sells for, not that we have a lot. So each herb sells for 35. Um, each flower uh, goddess drop sells for 25. Same with the toy flowers. Each milky soup sells for 150? Uh, okay. All right. Um, yeah, let's do that. I kind of want to sell the herbs too, because I really don't. I mean, I haven't tried giving herbs out as gifts before, but like, I don't know who would really like an herb. I don't know if I can. Hmm. 
before I sell those, let me look at my recipes back home and see if we can, um, if we can cook with any of those. I can offer you 300G. That was way more than I was even expecting. So yeah, sounds good to me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back home and I'm going to see if Bessie can be milk now. And if so, I'm making some more milky soup. <laughs> that was great. Hey, Nami, did we talk to you today? Not the best time for a chat. Oh, so sorry to bother. Uh, do what you want, I guess. Everyone's in such a good mood when spring rolls. Yeah, we have heard that from her. <laughs> I haven't talked to Molly, and I know Molly mm -hmm. likes flowers. Mm -hmm. Well, hello, sweetheart. I'm so glad it's finally warming up. I feel alive. All right, uh, this is for you, Molly. What a lovely flower. It is for you indeed. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, the plot of Yonder itself is fairly basic, but uh, the world is so charming. There are a ton of side quests to do. Um, a quest to find 55 kittens. Maybe I can nab it um, during the summer steam sale, which is coming up. Thank you for letting me know your thoughts on it. Because, yeah, I really enjoyed um, Grow. So if it's anything like Grow, I feel like I'd enjoy it. Hi, precious Bessie. We have talked to you and snuggled you today, but I have not milked you. So let's do that. Then we should be able to milk Bessie again around um, 11 p.m. I think so. Okay, all right. So let's put that away, go inside, and we are gonna make some more milky soup, which is, again, just basically milk. There's no more food in my doggy's food bowl. This is Finnegan's bowl. Can I put some stuff in there? What do you think about herbs, Finnegan? Do you like those? Finnegan can't eat that. How, how about no flowers? Milk, perhaps? Okay, all right, he cannot eat any of this. <laughs> what, what do you eat? Apparently, this Finnegan is not anything like my actual dog Finnegan, because he will eat anything. <laughs> oh, <my> precious. <laughs> Looks healthy and happy. Good. Good. Precious thing. Oh, we can train him? Ooh. Okay, all right. And do, like, spins? So cute. And how about pawing? Okay. And then jump too. <laughs> oh, it was so precious. So precious. Oh, that was so worth it. All right, soups. I gotta figure out where those two other, the mystery uh, soup and the mystery salad are. All right, so we can make four of these. I think that'll give us like 600 more moolah with Van. So I'll be able to get like one, one of the tools today. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, oh, and the other thing that I wanted to check before we left was if any of our current recipes need herbs. Mmm, the marinade does. So I'll, I'll probably hang on to those then, I think. Okay, all right. Have we checked though? Cam, thanks so much for the hydration. I appreciate you. I might go grab some tea here soon. Oh, another cutscene? This game's so beautiful. Oh, Gustafa. Hey there, Wade. You know my name already, yeah? <laughs> right on. I'm Gustafa. Did Takakura take you around for introductions your first day here? Yeah, we like were creeping on you off in the distance. We didn't have much of a chance to chat that day, so I was hoping we could change that. Don't worry about skipping over me. As long as we get to know each other in the end, it's all good. Feel free to stop by my place whenever I've got, uh, whenever. I've got a thing for music, so maybe we'll sing some songs together. Could be fun. He's so nice. 
Well, the wind's calling, so I'm off. Good luck on the farm. I feel like they really stayed true to like his original look. Him and like Rock and a bunch of other characters too. Okay, well that was wholesome. That was precious. And I, yeah, we tried to give a flower to Matthew. He did not like it, but we'll talk to him. Hey, this has got to be the best season of the year. It's finally getting warmer out. Hey, Vital, nice to see you. It's here, I know. Have you played any of it yet? Here you, Nina. How about, how about taking a walk down to the beach, Nina? Oh yes, that sounds splendid, dear. Shall we? I love her. They're so cute. Oh, and Nami. Nami, are you creeping on them? What? Oh, it's you. Huh? What am I up to? Not much. Just deciding where to go next. Hmm? All right, I've decided. I'm gonna take a stroll over to the villa. Catch you later. Oh, okay. Well, uh, see you then. Wonder what she was up to. Just admiring their love, perhaps? Like how she was like right behind Van's uh, cart. I was about to say Van's van, but that wasn't correct. Oh, Mac, your fiance brought you a Beyond Burger for lunch? Ooh, that's a good fiance, if I do say so myself. That actually sounds really good. I've got to figure out what I want for dinner tonight. Very uh, magnesium tablet to my smoothie. Oh, man. I, uh, I take my magnesium at nighttime because it just makes me so sleepy. Um, but, like, honestly, that's kind of, like, the point of me taking it. Like, it's, like, the best, like, natural sleep aid I've ever found. It works better for me than, like, even, like, uh, melatonin. Not yet. I uh, can't wait to dive into uh, the new A Wonderful Life, right? I'm super excited for you, too, especially if you're gonna stream it. And hi, Riley. Welcome in. How do you like the game? It's been so good and so nostalgic. I've been really loving it, really loving it. Have you been playing any of it yourself? All right, so we are selling the rest of these milky soups because we can get some decent moolah from them. Who knew you could make so much money from, like, milk in a cup? <laughs> Offer you 600 G. I will take it. Thank you, man. We are at 909. We got like 90 more. That would have been perfect. Honestly, like I am tempted to like sell maybe like some flowers so we can at least get the fishing rod today. So I would only need to sell like four of them. I'm gonna do it. I can offer you 100 G, sounds good. I mean, should I sell even more and go ahead and get the brush too? I, I'm tempted. Let me think about this. So we need about 500 G more. So that would be, I would need to sell like 20 flowers. I mean, we are getting a lot of flowers, like more than I can even give away each day. So like, I'm, I'm tempted to. So now we can get the fishing rod and the brush. All right, uh, fishing rod first. You have an impeccable eye for quality. Would you like to purchase that for 500? Yes, I would. Thank you, sir. And then one more thing. So my thinking is now that we have the, the fishing rod, we'll be able to like make even more money once we actually like start fishing. Hey, um, yeah, let's buy again. And we'll get the brush. Awesome. 
So maybe next time he's in town, which will be on the 8th, maybe he'll have like even more in his stock. And we're down to nine money again. Great. <laughs> Ooh. Is there anything else you require? No, I'm good. Thank you, Van. Appreciate you, man. All right. So we have fishing rod now. We have the brush too. What we'll do is um, we will go and brush Bessie. I'll save too. I do need to take like a little break so I can run to the little streamer's room. Okay, so this and where's my brush? It's probably in here, isn't it? Yeah, it's a tool. That makes sense. Oh, oh, I wasn't expecting all this cleanliness here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that, Bessie. Precious thing, you. And it's uh, about to hit 4 p.m. in game. We for once actually have like all of our crops watered, I think. So one thing that I was kind of considering doing, well, I say we have all of our crops watered. Are, th are those still, are those not watered at all? I can't tell. <laughs> or are they light in color? Um, let's, let's use this and see. Well, I guess that doesn't really help, does it? Um, you know what, we'll just go ahead and water as many as we can, I suppose. Don't have a whole lot of stamina left to water any. Since I, you know, sold all of my, uh, my, my milk soup. But we'll do what we can here. We'll do what we can. Okay, I don't know if I should do any more. I feel like I might pass out if I do that. But what I was considering doing, um, was to try to, like, go up that hill. It said it would take us, like, six hours or something. Or was it four hours? I know it was a bunch of hours. But I want to see what happens when we do. Oh. Well, hey, if it ain't Wade. I feel like we're getting a lot of um, cutscenes recently. And we're like already at the start of the game. We must be doing something right. Been settling in okay? Doing my best. Glad to hear it. But you've never worked on a farm before, right? That's gotta be tough. If you ever find yourself in trouble, I'd be happy to lend a hand. Best is so sweet. Oh, let me go tell my brother Matt to pitch in too. <laughs> I like how she just signs him up, as any good sibling would. I've been teaching him the ins and outs of agriculture, so I hope you'll let you'll I hope you'll let us help you out. I might not now, Vesta. <laughs> Hey, Matt, come here. What? I'm busy. It can wait. Just come here. Here's the deal, little bro. If Wade is ever in a bind, you be sure to give her your full support, all right? What? Why? Because the valley is a hopping place with Wade around. That's right. And if she ended up packing her bags and leaving because she couldn't hack it, it'd be a crying shame. Hopping. I guess. I've seen more people wandering around. Maybe. Ugh. Here you go with your prickly pear act again. <laughs> Whoa, wait, just a gar gosh darn second. <laughs> There's something I forgot to take care of it's real urgent, so I gotta make, like, a fruit tree and leave. Huh? Sorry to cut and run, Wade. If you'll excuse me. Is she trying to, like, make an excuse to give us some alone time? <laughs> like that, like, that little smirk back at the camera. Uh-huh. She knows what she's doing. I'm counting on you, Matt. What? Hey, wait! Well, hello. Sorry about Vesta. He's not exactly the best listener. <laughs> well, I'm glad it doesn't bother you. Uh, so yeah. I can't even like say that like, you know, he's a man of few words because our character literally says nothing. <laughs> anyway, what's up? Are you having trouble with your crops? Need any help? I mean, nothing's growing so far, so maybe. <laughs> oh, uh, good, good. Well, um, 
I've got work to do, so bye. That was kind of precious if I do say so myself. Okay, um, so let's go over here and see if we can go places. Oh, but after we pick up flowers. Did I pick that one up? There we go. I think I wasn't close enough to it. All like the sound effects like are, you know, so similar to what they were before. It's like so nostalgic. Oh, and there's some herbs here too. Oh, and some more flowers over there. Goodness gracious. Will we get up the hill today? Who knows? I don't even know what will happen. Let's see. Let's see. It might be a nice uh, to visit one of the faraway towns across the pass for a change of pace. The trip should take about six hours. Uh, okay. Oh, let's... let's... You had a tasty meal at a local inn. Oh. So it just puts you up there and you come right back. Okay. That'll be all for today, gracious patrons. Apologies, but my shop must close now. So... It said we had a tasty meal from going there. But, like, my... My stamina only restored itself, like... By, like, that much. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. So, considering the time that we spent there, that was absolutely not worth it. That kind of, kind of sucked. <laughs> but at least we can say we, we tried it. But I don't anticipate doing that, like, ever again. I'd say, like, so far, um, just, like, in general with the, with the game, um... I feel like there's definitely like some like energy stamina balancing um that could use some work because like it seems like you can use up like your your energy or your stamina like so quickly but like it's like really difficult to like reobtain it and to be fair it might have been like that in the original game it's been so long i'm struggling to remember but it's just kind of one of those things where, like, even if that was the way it, it was in the original, <clears throat> like, it could it could use a <clears throat> an improvement. No new requests right now. Okay. <clears throat> Since a new date. <clears throat> Ooh, so sorry, guys. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you talk for, like, four and a half hours straight. <laughs> this, this is why... I was about to say this is why I have tea. Or why I like tea. Uh, I, I started drinking tea well before I started streaming. Um, but I wanted to go over here and see if the if the um, sprites can give me new new recipes. Okay, got those. And I was thinking there was some more over here, but maybe not. Let's go over here, see if we have any more flowers, and we'll say hi to our sprite friends. Doing well, been playing this game since I woke up. Uh, but only, only today nine. Delray, it sounds like you've made some great progress. Um, technically, day four just started up for us. Like two a.m. of day four. Um, and I, I kind of oh, hold that on. Hi, Susie. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the raid. That was super sweet of you. I'm gonna do a shout out for our friend Susie, aka Melon Bubbles. I'm sure a lot of you guys know Susie. Um, she's a dear friend. Plays a bunch of cozy games. And I'm very curious uh, as to what game she was playing today. Welcome, welcome in. Amanda, nice to see you. I hope you're well. Um, I'm trying to remember what I was just going to say. I can't remember. Um, but we were going in here into the sprites to see if they have any new recipes for us. Group vocal warm. Yeah, we'll just get in like a Discord call and do the thing. <laughs> Hell story of seasons it's been so good and some nice nostalgia um from the original game which was um my favorite childhood game back in the day so i've been very nice very nice how about you Susie? how was your stream all right sprites you got anything for me today let me teach you something it's a recipe all the humans in forgotten valley have been talking about you should make it too learn the recipe for heartwarming soup oh 
So yeah, I think you can only get like one recipe a day from like one of them. I just happen to be talking to like the first Sprite a bunch. Heartwarming soup. I think that's the only soup recipe we're, recipe we were still missing, which is kind of wild because um, here we are on barely starting up day four of the game. And I think we've learned all the soup recipes. Oh, our precious little Bessie over there just sleeping outside. Bessie, let me let me let you in. I should have um, come here sooner to milk Bessie before she fell asleep, but I don't know if I could have gotten a second milking in for her today. Nah, she's too sleepy right now. We won't bother her. Okay, um, so let's uh, let's let's sleep. <laughs> it's almost three a.m. <laughs> this is bad. Oh, you were playing Core Keeper. I've been really wanting to try Core Keeper. I've heard really good things about it. You and your friend uh, Slaya finally beat one of the big bosses. Nicely done. Oh man, I um I don't know anything really about the game too much, other than I've heard good things about it. Um, so I I like, but I would imagine that the the bosses are pretty tough. So GG. If you need to step away, get you any nom strength stretches after that big boss boss fight, please make sure to do so. Uh, uh, Renelwyn, I think I've asked this before. Am I saying your name right? How's the game? It's been so good and so nostalgic. I'm really enjoying it. Anybody else in chat who's been playing the game too? Tell me, uh, how have you been enjoying it? I didn't want to feed you. I just want to like put it in your pen. Oh, oh, I saw the prompt for a second. There we go. Oh, just barely. <laughs> Bessie's in a pretty good mood. Glad to hear it. And we will um, brush Bessie. There we go. And we're going to try to milk you. Maybe. There we go. Good job. Thanks, Bessie. You're the greatest. Oh, and what I want to do before we um, go too far out today is I want to go back into my house and see about that heartwarming soup recipe that we got. Like, uh, planning on checking out Court Keeper with Shane, but haven't managed to uh, to get to it yet. Yeah, it's just kind of one of those games where like, I've, I've like had it on my list for a while. I'm like, I need to play this, but just... There's just so many games. <laughs> okay, um, make my recipe. So we don't even have any hors d'oeuvres, desserts, or entrees yet. Oh, so there are um, more soup recipes. I was thinking that we just, we didn't have it um, because there was just like only one question mark here, but I guess technically that's a recipe we already have. We just don't know like what it turns into, what the name of it is. So that makes sense. There are more recipes. So that's good. That's good. Makes me wonder like how many recipes there are. Um, so the heartwarming soup. That had potatoes, um, some kind of like fern situation, and then some mushrooms. I'm sure like probably a lot of that you get in like the autumn time. So I hope that I'll be able to make some kind of recipe. I could probably make that once some of my stuff grows. I don't think I'm growing sweet potatoes yet. And I need to do some fishing. We just, we just got the fishing pole and I haven't done anything with it yet. So yeah, we definitely need to. And then I could make this marinade. Oh, that would be great. All right, so yeah, today um, we'll go out. Oh, thankfully the dog's food bowl is filled. I, I didn't fill it, so I don't know. Maybe Takakura did, possibly. But yeah, today um, we will go out and, you know, give some gifts as per usual. And um, we'll do some watering of our crops. And then we'll also um, do some fishing. I also uh, wanted to do like some mining too. But I haven't been able to do that yet. I didn't mean to put that away. Oh, didn't mean to water that one again. Okay. Just wasting my stamina here, don't mind me. It's 
hard to see like these like back ones behind these vines. Note to self, when you grow tomatoes in the future, like put them in the back. Yeah, thankfully we had like a little bit more stamina today, I guess, since I went to bed and slightly earlier. <laughs> Not by a whole lot, but. Hopefully we'll have some crops soon. It would be really nice to do some cooking. And I imagine that um, maybe some um, some people like in town would probably like some cooked dishes for gifts. Maybe even like some fish too. Maybe some people would like raw fish. I don't know. I don't think I would like it very much if someone handed me like a like a wet slimy fish, but I don't know. Maybe somebody will. I like just barely had enough stamina for all of that. Oh, wow. That was really cutting it close. Okay, all right. So let's um, head out and see what shenanigans we can get up to today. I think maybe I'll head towards the mine first and see if um, I can get Carter to get me to mine. Oh, oh, it's in the wrong button. Hey. Hey, good morning, neighbor. Forgotten Valley is huge. It's perfect for jogging. There is no chance of bumping into anyone. I'm a track coach in the city, and to be honest, it'd be easier on my family if we lived closer to everything. But we moved out here, so I had more room to run. I feel like uh, Chris, bless her heart, she really made like a big sacrifice. No telling like how long her commute is each day. Hello, everyone. Hey, Bergie. Nice to see you. How was your day today? I hope you had a good one. Definitely recommend Court Keeper as a co-op game. Thank you guys for the recommendation. Definitely need to do the thing soon. Okay, let's see if they're down here. They are down here. Hi, Carter. <laughs> Greetings, Wade. How are things? Oh, Wade, just the person I hope to see. Do you have some time to help us at the dig site today? Yeah, please. Um, you know what I just thought about though? I don't have any more stamina. <laughs> um, hang on, hold up. Before I say yes to you, I probably should have thought of this before I came here, but. Like I could go back home and make some, um, some, some milky stuff. Oh my gosh, who's dog? Dog, dog? Are, are, are you a what are you? Is this Chihuahua somebody's pet? Who is it? And how can I have you? A Chihuahua wearing a scarf, how cute. It seems to be a bit scared of you. How can I fix that? Can I give it uh, something? What, do you like, do you like herbs? No, okay, all right. Um, I want it. <laughs> Laravi, welcome in. How are you? Why do I not remember that Chihuahua from the original game? Finally rain here. Good, Bergy. I wish we could have like shared some of our uh, rain here with you because um, except for like the last like couple days, it was raining literally non-stop from like Monday through through like Saturday, something like that. Okay, uh, so we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna make some milky soup. So we'll be able to do a little bit of stuff. Um, make my recipe and then soup and milky soup. That's the only thing I can make right now until we uh, get some of those crops finished growing. Make this dish, yes. There we go, all right. And I guess I'll just go ahead and eat it too, or drink it rather. All right, and then um, this and you. Do that again. And one more time. 
Yeah, I didn't refill it like a whole lot, but I mean, that's something. So I'm, I might be able to do something. Wade, we need to talk. Oh no. <clears throat> About your shipments. Or my lack thereof. No, no, no. Bad dog. Oh, hi, Molly. No, Finnegan's a good boy. Oh, wait, your dog scared me half to death, barking like that all of a sudden. I'm sorry? I entered its territory? What in the world does that mean? Excuse me? It marks its territory how? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I'm sorry. I interrupted a conversation, didn't I? I think I've made him angry. Um I I I don't I don't think so. Maybe he was just a little bit shy. <laughs> oh wait, hang on. I completely read that wrong. I I thought it said he wasn't angry, and I realized right as I clicked it, I think it said he's always angry. <laughs> Well, that's dreadful. <laughs> I need to drink some more of this tea. Oh, um, you aren't hurt, are you? I'm fine, thank you. I I'm a real animal lover, you know. A farm lover, too. Um, I've got to head home, but maybe you could show me around next time. Really? Oh my, I'd love that. Thank you. Anyway, I'd better be off. Bye, Molly. I like her sway, her sachet. See you soon, sweetheart. I don't know how she works and walks on like all of those dirt paths with heel with heels on. More power to you, baby girl. Speaking of home. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go to the dig. See what we can do exactly. Should have given her a, a flower as she was walking by. Probably need to get some more flowers since we sold so many yesterday, but I think I picked up some more too, didn't I? Yeah, we're back up to 18 goddess flowers and 14 toy flowers. I think we're doing okay. See, so yeah, I'm not sure how much we'll be able to do here, but we shall see. I'm back. Countless treasures sleep beneath the soil, just waiting to be uncovered. Do you have some time to help us? Um, yeah, can you explain how it works? So you'll help. Excellent. In that case, allow me to explain the basics of what we do here. And rest assured, it's easy work. Simply use your shovel to dig into a patch of earth. You might discover an ancient artifact. I shall give you a special bag for digging so that you may view and store the items you unearth. Whenever you are finished digging for the day, you may either head over to the dig site entrance or speak with me. When you do, I'll review your finds and return them to you. Should you find anything of archeological value, however, I will need to take it off your hands. Uh, I should also warn you that I cannot keep your items, uh, you cannot keep your items on you while working the dig site, so make sure you've eaten something beforehand. I'll give you your shovel, then history awaits, my friend. Happy digging. I guess I need to talk to him again. Finish, oh no, 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 not finish digging for the day. I didn't realize like I was already in the, in the mode. Oh, we are, okay, I see dig now. What'd we find? Something juicy? Found some kind of old coin. Cool. So with that particular dig, it doesn't look like um we used up any stamina. So like that's good. Okay, nothing there. I think that was already dug up by them. Okay, alright. I wasted a little bit of stamina there, but that's okay. It doesn't actually look like this is using any stamina. Maybe I didn't need to... Maybe I didn't need to, um... Drink the, the milk. Oh, trying to get that spot. There we go. The sounds of the, uh, the words coming up takes me back. It's just, like, so much good nostalgia. Like, they really stayed true to the original game in so many ways. Is there nothing else? Maybe we can dig deeper in some spots. I don't know if we can dig like anywhere else. 
Yeah, those are like all of the spots. Oh, oh, so you can find more. Awesome. Found an old fossil. Nice. He'll probably want to keep that one. Potentially same with the uh, coin too. Hey, it doesn't look like any of the other spots have anything. So I'm going to talk to him again. All done. I see. I mean, maybe we could have dug even deeper, but very well then. Shall we head outside? I figured if we leave now, we can probably do some some um, fishing too. Another productive day of digging for you, I hope. Allow me to examine what you found. There doesn't appear to be anything of archeological significance, I'm afraid. So that means we can keep the stuff and sell it. Feel free to take today's finds home with you. You've earned them. Thank you. I was sure that he was gonna take like the fossil at least. You did get it, nice, nice, so glad to hear it. Also, Justice, if you need to step away, get you any noms, drink, stretches, uh, rest after your uh, stream, please make sure to do so. But um, I'm really glad that you're here uh, with your community. Thank you so much for sharing them with us. That's all for today. I hope we can count on your continued assistance. Absolutely. Thanks, Carter. All right, so um, let's go this way. And I am really curious about like how much um, those items could sell for. And I've never tried selling anything like in my shipping bin. So maybe we'll try that. The only thing time I've sold anything in this game so far was to... Um, it was to somebody. It was to Van. That's who it was. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll go and see if we can sell these here. And then we'll get back to fishing. I still haven't given out any gifts today either. So probably need to do that too. Oh, I can't sell these here. But sadly, it doesn't really look like they sell for a whole lot anyway. Less than I was expecting they would. So I I bet you probably need to... Um, probably need to sell those to Van when he's back in town. I would assume so. Okay, um, so let's go out here and... Hmm, I really want to try giving another flower to Gordy because like he he did accept it before, but also his friendship has gone down. So I kind of feel like he, even though he's accepting him them, I feel like he's not actually liking them. Yeah, because his friendship went way down. Although, although it does say under affection, one heart, but maybe that's just from talking to him. Molly's friendship is like really high. She's already at three hearts. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, I need to work on some of the other people. Uh, the art, environmental art, and this is really nice. I just love all the cherry blossom trees. They make me so happy. Normally in these kind of games, it feels cartoonish. Right, right. I think they kind of do a good job of kind of like the, I don't want to say like chibi art style because it's not quite that, but you know, it um, kind of gives like some you know, cutesy, vibrant um, vibes to it. Hey, yo, how are you? All of my focus is on my art. Uh, well, I mean, if you could just divert some of that focus a little bit and uh, talk to us some more, that'd be nice. Another cutscene? I, I beg your pardon. Is that Lumina? It is Lumina. Or oh, hello there. You wouldn't happen to remember me from the other day, would you? Of course. Can you, um, can you see that building up there on the hill? The villa, I mean? Yeah, we've been in it. Oh, that's a beautiful shot of it. I live there with my aunt Romana and our butler, Sebastian. I moved to the valley when I was very young, so I've not been able to sit and chat with many people my own age. But then I heard you had moved in and I'd hope the two of us could get along. You know what I just thought about? I never tried to go in the that like hut that's in the corner of a uh, Roman uh, Romanus Romanus estate. And the reason that I didn't try it is because in the original game, I don't think you could go in it at all. But the reason that it's there is because in other Harvest Moon um, games with Forget Me Not Valley. I think you actually could go in there and it uh, was lived in by by the witch.
I think I tried to give um, Chris a flower before and I don't think she accepted it. How's work going? I don't think there's a way either for me to like go in depth with their character sections here. And I wish there was a bit more. Like if I had already given someone a, a flower and they liked it, it'd be nice if like there was like a gifting section. I think that would be really nice. I think that Nina liked um, flowers, so let's give one to her. Hi, Nina. Oh. Why, hello there. My, that sure is nice. This is for you. Oh. She's so sweet. I love her. Hi, Anna Marie. Nice to see you. How are you? Oh, I didn't mean to give her a, a second one. <laughs> Hang on, let me put that away. I just wanted to talk to her. This time of year always reminds me of when my husband and I first moved here. Flowers were just beautiful back then too, I bet. Oh. Was lurking for a bit. Happy to see this game. I'm happy to see this game too and always appreciate the lurks. Usually I only catch you on YouTube, so I'm glad to have uh, your stream open while I'm working. I appreciate you being here and thanks so much for supporting me on YouTube too. Um, speaking of YouTube, um, I'm currently uh, recording our gameplay here and plan to upload it to YouTube uh, probably tonight. So anybody who missed any parts of the playthrough so far, you can catch it on there. Hmm. Time of year reminds me when Nina and I first came here. That's exactly what she said too. <laughs> they are two peas in a pod. Hi, Hugh. Hey, yeah. Uh, I heard that spirits live in the woods. Nobody's ever seen any though. Well, not like nobody. We, we've maybe seen some. I wish we could bring little Hugh there. I think he would like them. I wonder what Lumina's doing over here. Oh, hey, good day. Hello there. Did you come to visit twins as well? Oh, she must be friends with them. I think she liked flowers, maybe? Oh, I simply love what you have there. She did. <laughs> Hi, Angie. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate you. Um, uh, Rora, Rora Nick, Rora Nick, or who? Oh. I'm just gonna say Rora for now. I hope that's okay. Welcome in, Angie, of course. So glad to see you guys. I'm seeing a lot of Badonka Donka modes today. I'm liking it. <laughs> Little tots are on a roll. Angie, how was your stream? What were you up to today? And mod friends, thank you so much for doing that. Shout out for our friend Angie Nader, too. Anyone uh, who's new here, coming in through a raid or otherwise, hi, my name's Wade. I love playing um, cozy games, adventure-based stuff, occasionally some puzzle-based games too. And today um, we're playing a game that I have been waiting for a long time. It's the remake of my favorite childhood game called A Wonderful Life, so I've been really enjoying it. Momo the Avatar, welcome in too, I hope you're well. It was fun. We were also playing A Wonderful Life. Angie, how did it go for you? Are you enjoying it? How far did you make it? Tell me all the things. Uh, and hey, 3CPO, nice to see you. Long time no see. I hope you've been doing well. <laughs> been working on giving out gifts to people, but all I really have to give them right now are flowers. <laughs> so I'm really grateful when I do find a character that likes flowers. Like, I think, I think hole here like flowers hello there mighty fine thingamabob you got there now hold on is that for me absolutely yeah that's right he has the flower uh symbol on his on his uh overalls so one would hope that he would like them <laughs> it's like it's like you approach him and he's like i hate that <laughs> Lumina comes around to visit every so often. We actually get along pretty well, believe it or not. I think that's so cute. Wonderful Life was my favorite on GameCube. Yes, I'm so excited for it. We're on day five, I think. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to make Matthew love me. Ooh, get it, girl. I went for, well, and he was named Marlin back in the day, but I went for Marlin slash Matthew um, in, the, in the original game, or... or in another Wonderful Life, the girl version, back in the day a whole lot. But in this one, I'm very tempted to go for Gordy since he's new. Otherwise, I really love Cecilia too, so I might go for her as well. Hi, Daryl. Oh, hello. Keep your... <laughs> he's not very nice. I think we need to work on the friendship there. Oh, I think we caught him right in time. All right. Um, You know, I haven't been in Gustafa's hut yet either. I wonder if he's in there right now. 
He is not. Okay, well, that's going to have to wait for a little bit longer then. And, hmm, um, I want to do fishing. There's also Cecilia over there. I don't think I've given her a flower today. Let's do that before I start up the fishing. Same with Vesta as well. I think Vesta likes flowers too. Did she just go inside? Yeah, she did. <laughs> Been giving them flowers too? Because, like, I just don't have any, like, crops ready right now that I can make into, like, uh, foods, but I'm assuming once I do have some foods that will probably be some characters who like that kind of stuff. All right, we're going to do that and then um, we'll show this to you. Is everything all right? Just here to chat. <laughs> hey there and welcome. That's so delightful how lucky you are. Well, now you're lucky. And I think we can like also like talk to her for the day too. So let's do that as well. Boop and a boop. I didn't play the original games, so I'm very glad to see this remake and be introduced to it. Oh, Anna Marie, I'm so glad to have you here. Uh, love some of the other Story of Seasons games, so had high hopes for this one, and it's looking so fun. It's been really beautiful and just some, some nice nostalgia for, uh, for sure. But yeah, I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a, a Story of Seasons game to play. Best to put some more love and care into her crops than anyone I know. That's why all our produce takes, tastes so good. Uh, that aside, did you want to purchase anything <sighs> with my nine money? <laughs> I think I'm good. <laughs> Thanks, Cecilia. All right, back out we go. And let's talk to Vesta as well. Hi, Vesta. Hey! Hey there, how you doing? Our crops are all organic. Yes, ma'am. Not looking to buy anything. Thank you very much. But I am here to give you, um, a this. Well, well, I really like what you got there. Your shelf, please. There you go. I only had the uh, boy version. Uh, usually going for Cecilia. I can't say I blame you. She was wonderful. Uh, she's so cute, right? Gonna do a bit of a lurk. Uh, dinner's ready. Good luck with the, uh, the gift giving. Thank you, thank you, Angie. And thank you so much again for your raid. That was super sweet of you. Guys, please make sure to say goodbye to our friend Angie over there. Hope you get some uh, some good noms tonight, too. You can actually, like, climb those, right? No. Would be cool if you could. Like, there would be, like, some kind of, like, secret up there. Be snazzy. Take some more herbs here for when I can actually cook with them. And anything down here. I don't see any more flowers. Sorry for the obnoxious driver outside, y'all. Okay. So, we're going to go over here, and I am going to do some fishing for the first time. Do a little fish that way. Okay, so do this, and grab you, and we fish. You know what I probably should do? Um, before we do too much fishing, is um, go back home and milk Bessie a second time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, come on, fishy. I think it's just like a... Did we get it? Oh, a uh, wakasagi. <laughs> That's fun to say. <laughs> um, I wasn't, I hadn't read like any directions on the fishing yet in the game, so I wasn't sure if I did that right. I think I just had to tap the fishing button once when it, when it bit. That's good. I never let out Bessie today. Well, I feel bad now. Thankfully, I think she had food in here. Oh, but she's already sleeping. Oh man, I was hoping to milk her again. I don't think she'll let me since she's sleeping. Yeah, she didn't. She didn't like the snuggle, so I'm assuming she's probably not gonna like the milking. Oh. Okay, all right, note to self, even if they are sleeping, um, you can milk them. Wish I knew that yesterday. <laughs> but better late than never. <laughs> Precious little Bessie. All right, we're going to take another hay out and let's put that here. Then we'll go back outside and we'll do some more fishing. I didn't really even pay attention how much stamina was used up 
with our first fish there. I've noticed with this game, sometimes it takes like you doing like a couple things before it actually like uses up your stamina, like fishing like twice. Oh, I didn't mean to reel it in. Whoopsies. This one, uh, a better line of sight. Will this be another Wakasaki or will it be something else? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. We've also got to try um, fishing at the, the ocean too. Bring it in, bring it in. I'm not like spam tapping. I'm assuming I don't need to do that. Oh, a huge Wakasaki. Heck yeah. It looks so derpy. <laughs> nice. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's let's try go. Uh, fishing down here. Let's do it. Like we do have like a lot of like stamina left over, but I'm also um thinking about the time too. I think it would be nice if tonight we could actually go to sleep before midnight. <laughs> Will it happen? Who knows. <laughs> Oh, I should have like re-angled myself so I wasn't covering it up. Thankfully, I think it does show like an exclamation above her head. Yeah, or above the fish when one's on the line. So that's good at least. A little, a little scad. I like the colors on it. It's pretty. All right, let me turn a little bit and then we will do this and a U. Yeah, I really am not seeing a whole lot of um, stamina loss, so I suspect that we're probably going to have some extra tomorrow. Mm, favorite thing to do in HM games is fishing and horse racing. Oh, this was a regular scad. Cool, cool. Again. Yeah, we don't have a horse yet in this game, but can't remember when you unlocked it in the original game. If it was like beginning of summer or if it was like year two. I wouldn't think it would be all the way out in year two, but I can't, can't remember. <laughs> that sounds like me talking about myself for bedtime. <laughs> me over here, like I'm like a granny um, and I, I go to bed like super early. Like me most nights, I'm like, Oh, it's 10 o'clock. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> but in the meantime, like, I've always been, like, really good about, like, waking up early. I don't have a problem with mornings. Yo, I heard there was a shop set up here. I, he, here? Man, I don't know who's telling you there's a shop here, but... <laughs> They might want to get their eyes checked. <laughs> oh, did I hear mornings you might have? <laughs>, Laughs in night shift. Yeah, couldn't be me, fam. I was the type of person like back in one of my previous jobs. Um, I had to wake up at three or four every morning. And I honestly chose that over closing. Ooh, we have like full stamina. This is so weird. That never happens. <laughs> okay, all right. So, brand new day. Let's um, go over here and we'll let out Bessie. That good old Bessie. And, um, hi, Bessie. Nice to see you. We'll talk to you. We'll do some snuggling. We'll give you some nice brushes. I think I actually, like, showed the brush to her instead of actually using it on her. <laughs> She's like, ooh, what's that? And then, um, let's milk her, too. Thanks, Bessie. You're the greatest. 
All right, so we'll put that away, jump over here, and how are my crops looking? Looks like I think everything needs watering today, so yeah, let's get to it. Take this as well. Thankfully, I am not lacking in the stamina department today, so for once, watering all of these should not be a problem. Hey, Wonderland, welcome back. I hope that your evening's been getting better. It's nice to see you again. You're up earlier than it makes sense to be uh, to be tired er later on, right? Like, I feel like it's one of those things too, though. Like, even like if I wake up late one day, um, I still feel the need to go to bed early. <laughs> I'm just not a night person. <laughs> Never have been. I don't think I ever will be. That's one reason, uh, one way that uh, my husband Nick and I, we very much differ because he's like very much a night person. Like he can, I think like just the other night he stayed up until like 5 a.m. I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> if I stayed up until 5 a.m., I'd just sleep throughout the entire day <laughs> just to catch up. <laughs> Mm, prefer that over nine to five because with the uh, day side schedule, that's all I uh, do for the entire day. Everything is closed before and after your shift. That's understandable. Oh, and Wonderland took a nap. Good, good. That's another thing that I've always struggled with, taking naps. But I think that's because of my brain and, well, I know it's because of my brain and my uh, way it's built and it's wiring. It's, it's a struggle. Staying up till 5 a.m. couldn't be me? Man, that's a you like every night. <laughs> I shouldn't say you every night, every weekend at least. Rob never does that. Who is, who is Rob? Who is this man? 5 a.m. To be fair, like when Nick did, I think it was on the weekend and he was like either streaming or in somebody else's stream. It's crazy that we've like watered like all of our crops and we still have like half of our stamina. What are we gonna do with it today? I definitely wanna do some more mining with um, Carter and Flora, that was fun. All right, um, so let's put you away and we'll take this out away too. Okie dokes. So um, let's over here. I wish it was another van day already so that we could get another um that we, so we can sell some stuff. See what else he has for sale. I don't know if he'll have any new stuff for sale since it's like the same month but I'd be surprised if he didn't have like new stuff at least like next month. Is that a uh, Pooey over there that I see? Hi, Pooey. Nice to see you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. The weather is growing much warmer. Yes. I like his like little mug that he has um, attached to him as well. <laughs> his redesign is just so cute. Hi, Forest Man. How are you? Hi from Brazil. Welcome in. I have a question. Can I adjust the speed of time as I do on Stardew Valley? Forest Man, I was wondering the same thing um, earlier because I like to do that as well. Can you can you adjust the speed of time in Stardew or is that a mod? I don't remember that being a thing in Stardew, um, but I know it's a thing in um, my tent portion, Sandrock, and I love that feature. But yeah, no, sadly, I haven't seen anything like that in this game. Um, but I feel you. I feel you. I was looking for that one too. One mod list. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Thank you. Want to learn a new recipe? Absolutely. Recipe for pickles. Okay. I think we had like some other kind of pickle recipe as well. Can't remember what it was. 
Alright, so we shall skedaddle from here. After we get some more flowers. Boop. And boop. And boop you too. And let's um, head over to Carter and Flora. I love that feature in the My Time series. It's like one of my favorites. I think, you know, it's just like especially appreciated because like it, with it, especially with it being like a single player game, you know, it's, it's not like competitive or anything like that. So it's like, why shouldn't you be able to play the way you want to play? And if it, it makes it like, you know, more enjoyable for you, a more relaxed experience, and like, heck yeah, absolutely, like do the thing. I was about to say like, you know, those features are especially helpful for like streaming purposes and that kind of stuff. So, you know, if you need to like stop and, and talk with chat or anything like that, but I have those uh, slow down time settings on even when I'm not streaming. <laughs> Hi, Carter. <laughs> Greetings, Wade, how are things? Just the person I hope to see. I do want to help you, thank you. My time at first, you can do it too. Uh, in doubt if I buy this one or the new My Time at Sandrock, the other game, I highly recommend it, Forest Man. I I love My Time at Sandrock. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite games. But here's the thing too. Um, the full release of My Time at Sandrock, they have stated now that it's going to be September 26th. So it's a thing if you like, you know, wanted to wait for like the full release of that game, could do that as well. But either way, I definitely recommend you play that game at some point because it's very good, very good. Love it. Not finding like anything today. I'm super excited for the Steam sale though. Starts up on Thursday. I don't know if I'll have like too much money to <laughs> to actually buy anything, especially after having to to uh, buy this game today. But it's just been so good, so good. Um, yeah, we didn't find a single thing. I wonder if I can like dig more in like previously dug spots. I really can't remember like how it worked too much in the original. Ooh, I do see like some pebbles there now. I bet you we can find something. Okay, or maybe like soon. We're getting close, possibly. There we go. Got an old fossil. The last time we gave him an old fossil, he said he didn't want it. That might be something that we can sell. Oh, and today I need to try to like give like some fish to people. See if anybody would like that as a gift. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, pretty gemstone indeed. Hello. All right, let's talk to you, Carter again. Hi, Carter. Want to take a look at my stuff? It's hitting the wrong button. Finished digging for the day. All done for now. Thank you. I need to head off for now. Have a nice rest of Stream Stream, everyone. Bergie, it was good to see you. I hope that you have a good night, friend. Another productive day of digging for you, I hope. Yes, indubitably. We found a this. He's like, holy gobsmackers, that is the biggest crystal I've ever seen. But actually, there doesn't appear to be anything of archeological significance. I think this was the best find that anyone in this valley has ever found. Feel free to take today's findings home with you. <laughs> well, fine. I'll I'll take the pretty crystal for myself. Ungrateful. <laughs> I'm actually going to go back down here um, and talk to Flora because I didn't do that before. Hi, Flora. Huh? Huh? Oh, hi, Wade. Is something the matter? Every day we dig and dig. It might seem like a daunting task, but it's actually a lot of fun. You know what I just thought about? I haven't been able to give, um, I haven't been able to give flowers to Carter or to Flora. Maybe they would like um, the things I'm digging up. 
obviously Carter didn't want to keep them before, but maybe, maybe he will if I like actually offer it to him, possibly, possibly. Um. So yeah, we have like a coin. We have like two fossils, and then this this moonlight ore. I really don't want to give away the moonlight ore right now because I don't know how much it's worth. Um, so yeah, I'll hold off on giving that to either of them until I like try to, until I take it to my shipping bin because I can't sell it there, but I can at least find out how much it's worth. Aww. Oh, did you dig that up recently? I don't need it, but I'm glad you're taking liking to it. Yes, yes, I'm sure that's very important, but uncovering stone tablets is our highest priority at the moment. Okay, all right. How about, how about this coin? Would you like that instead? And we dig, we find a whole bunch of things like that. <laughs> that's code for, like, that's garbage. Why would I need that? <laughs> Do you think they would like, maybe like fish? <laughs> I don't know if I can even give them a gift down here, but let me let me try to give Flora my little my little scad. Oh my goodness, is that for me? It sure is. <laughs> wow, this just made my entire day. Okay, so Flora potentially likes fish. I need to look at her friendship tab. So what about Carter here then? Reeled in a good catch, have you? Exemplary work, my friend. Okay, well, he he liked it, but not enough to actually take it. Good to know. Mm. Flora. Kind of looks like she's just, like, smack dab in the middle, so, like, if she did get an increase from it, it wasn't very big. Although, to be fair, I didn't look at what she was at before. Maybe she was a bit lower since I tried to give her flowers before. It's hard to say. Or those coins. Yeah, she didn't like the coins either. So maybe it did increase it a good bit. I'll have to try that again tomorrow. I'd say that's quite the fine, sir. And you'll regret it when we are famous, right? We'll be like the world's most well-known archaeologist. And Carter's going to be jelly. <laughs> Hi, Celia. Hmm? Is everything all right? Just here to chat. <laughs> hey there, Wade. I made a little wish to the crops. I asked them to grow big and healthy for us. She is just like the most precious thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, no thanks. Don't have any money to buy anything from you. But thank you, ma'am. And we will definitely give you a flower today. Um, now let's give you this one because I have a bunch of those. That's delightful. How lucky you are. This is for you. Hope you enjoy it. I do think she fit that big flower in her pocket like that. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Let's see if Matthew or Vesta are in here. All right. Uh, Vesta is here and Vesta does like flowers as well. So let's show this to her. Hey! Welcome. Well, well, I really like what you got. I think I need to like talk to her again to like get like some talking friendship points with her. I think so. Let's try that again. A long time ago, I owned a farm much closer to the city. Oh, the soil quality was awful. I think she already told us this. So Matthew is not here. Maybe he's in the other building or maybe he's out somewhere. Oh, he is in here. Awesome. I wanted to try to give him a fish. Hey. I like this place. Makes me feel like I've got a home away from home. Anyway, are you here to shop? He probably like just needs like a, a break from Vesta from time to time. <laughs> they definitely have some uh, some sibling shenanigans going on. <laughs> All right, so hmm, maybe we'll try giving him a little scad too. Huh? Is that from around here? Okay. All right. Does not like fish. Considering his name was Marlin in the old game, I was kind of hoping that he would like a fish, but it appears not. How about Pooey? 
Is that an item for Pooey? It is. Help yourself. You uh, have made your friend very happy. Many thanks to you. Oh, I'm so glad that you like it. Precious boy. <laughs> Do we think that... I kind of want to try giving one of my artifacts to Gordy. See if he'll like it. Yo, how are you? Oh, is that for me? Yeah. So I had been giving him flowers before, and he would accept them, but I still felt like his friendship was going down a lot. Probably should have looked to see what it was before I gave him that gift there, so I could kind of have like a frame of reference. Yeah, I'm not sure if it moved at all. <laughs> so hopefully he liked it. Let me just talk to him too. Oh, my focus is on my art. Oh, that's great. Okay, hi, Nina. <laughs> we'll talk to you too. Hi, hello there. This time of year always reminds me of when my husband and I first moved here. So precious. We'll give Nina a flower too. She's best girl. If Gary oh. wasn't in the picture, I'm just saying we might go for Nina. All right, and... Hmm. Maybe we'll go around town, give out some more gifts, and then finish up our day with some more fishing? Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll um, go in here first. I can't remember if I gave um, Gavin a, a flower before. Just would like to chat. Here in Forgotten Valley, everyone marches to the beat of their own drum. I think we've heard that from him too. Didn't mean to do that. Um, this. And then... I really like what you've got there. Oh, uh, no, I, not that. <laughs> so in this game, oh. like, uh, <laughs> he was like so upset. Sometimes they'll approach you, um, and say they want stuff, even if you weren't, um, didn't like click on them. They'll just like see you holding stuff. Now that my friend is a favorite of mine. I don't know if this is oh. actually like a, a fish that I wanted to give you. I feel so bad. I've turned him down twice now, <laughs> but this one maybe. Yeah, let's give him the regular Wagasaki. I'm, wait, can I not give him that? Wow, I'm drooling over here. Is it because I turned him down twice? I feel bad now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Molly's not in there. Okay. I just, I, I just happened to be holding things that he wanted, but I didn't really want to give them away. So I don't know their monetary value yet, and I might want to sell them. I'm not sure if I gave Lumina a gift today. Let's try it. There we go. Is that character bar with uh, how much they, they like you? Yeah, the one in the journal in the book is is their uh, feelings. I think it's their like current like mood toward you, but at the bottom they also have like a heart system as well for how long like far along they are there. See, I'm still trying to figure it out myself. Maybe we can look some more in uh, Takakura's notes. It might tell us a little bit more. Also, let's, uh, I doubt I can go in here, but just wanted to check it out. Yeah, it's locked. And I think it's gonna remain that way for like the rest of the game. Okay. Oh, let's say hi to Romana. Oh. Good evening. Pardon me, but I must hurry home and get some uh, good food in me. I'm starving. I try to go out for a stroll in days like today. Um, could we maybe give you a gift first, possibly? Oh. Gracious, is that for me? It is. Why, thank you. I'll treasure it always. Love her. I would like to adopt her as my grandma. <laughs> Let's go inside and see if Sebastian is in here. No answer. Maybe over here in the kitchen? Romana did say it's dinner time. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Greetings, madam. It is good to see you. I find this the most perfect place to set one's mind at ease, though perhaps I'm biased in that regard. Let's see if he would like the wakasaki that 
poor Gavin wouldn't take. Gracious, did you catch that yourself? You mean to give it to me? It's... <laughs> it's officially yours. <laughs> Oh man, I can see the developers had a little bit too much fun localizing um, this game. <laughs> you are most kind, most kind indeed. I'm surprised you didn't like kick me out of his house after that pun. I shall relish it. <laughs> so I think we found out that Sebastian likes, um, Fish and flowers so far. He seems pretty easy to please. I'm not complaining. Can we like go behind the house? Is there anything back there? Let's go check it out and see. Doesn't look like it, but I just wanted to check. Just wanted to make sure. So, uh, it is 7.17 right now. So what we'll do is we will go and do some fishing. Also talk to Cole here. We give him a, a flower. Hey, good evening. Spring's all about new beginnings. Makes me want to start something new too. How about you, whippersnapper? I got something here for you, sir. Mighty fine thingamabob, you can have it. Mm, hey, Ruby, nice to see you. How are you? And Panda, welcome in too. I hope that you're having a nice day. All right, so um, let's talk to Hugh as well. I don't know if I tried giving Hugh a gift before and now I feel bad. Hugh, don't leave. That's a pretty flower. Okay, well not pretty enough to take, I guess. <laughs> well, uh, well, we'll see you later, Hugh. Well, maybe we'll go in here. See if we can give gifts to the rest of the family. What can I maybe give Hugh? Would he like a, a fossil, do you think? Uh, that that looks kind of bad. <laughs> um, I'm kind of tempted to try giving him like the milk that I have, but I also want that for myself. Okay, um, what about Chris? Do we think she would like it? Probably not. Oh, welcome. I'm sorry, but I don't care for that. That's understandable. Thank you for your transparency. I was wondering if, uh, what, I want to call him Wally. I think his name is something else in this one. I think it was Wally in the first one. Talk to, uh, oh. Gary too. Hmm. This time of year reminds me of when Nina, yeah, precious, very precious. Be nice to see some uh, some younger photos of them. Evening there, Wade. Time really flies when you're working hard, doesn't it? Well, I can't say I've been working all that hard, but I do know the feeling at least. The flowers are beautiful, aren't they? Days like these put a spring in my step. All the freaking puns in this game. My goodness. <laughs> I did want to try giving him a, a flower too. Maybe both of them flowers. Didn't he just enter? Where did he go? Oh, she won't take it. Okay, never mind. Do you... Would you be willing to part with that? No! Everybody wants my crystal. They can't have it. <laughs> what about... I can never say no to that. To... To, to what? Uh, what you got there? She doesn't like my... Nobody likes my fossils. <laughs> I tried, I tried, I really did. Maybe Nami and Rocker upstairs? I don't think I've managed to give them any gifts. Nope, must be like out on the town somewhere. I definitely saw, what's his name? Walk in here, here he is. Our inn's lobby is a popular meeting place. Always fun to watch so many people come and go. All right, do we have a gift that you might like? Whoa, -ho, you got something real nice there, Wade. And let me tell you, I know quality when I see it. Oh, wait, is that for me? He does like flowers. Precious. I knew you were a man of taste. You enjoy that, sir. All right, we will get a move on. 
Maybe now we'll actually do some fishing a little bit. So far, do you think the game is worth it? It's like, I would say like for the nostalgia factor, since I love the original game, um, like for me, I'd say absolutely. Like, I'd say like if you did not play the original game, um, and like, you know, maybe you have played other Story of Seasons games, like no, it, it is very different from um from some of the other Story of Seasons ones. I'd say like some some good, some bad. Um like it's much more simplistic. I'd say like there's like less to do. Um, you know, the calendar years are uh, a lot shorter. But it's also like so unique to compared to like any other like farming sim and that like you get to see like your character age up and have kids that age up and um, the people in town aging and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it just kind of depends on like what you're looking for, um, what you like and, and what you prioritize. Like do you, do you prioritize like gameplay or do you prioritize like story? And I'd say if, if it's story then um, then you may enjoy this one. Probably do like maybe like one or two more fish after this one. Mm. I was thinking we were doing one or two more fish after this one, but it's already like nearly 11 p.m. It's like takes like so long for some of them to get on the line. So maybe we'll we'll go and sleep. And I didn't let um I didn't let precious Bessie in. Let's go give her some love before we go to sleep. Give her some pets. We'll talk to her too. And let's do some milking as well. Thank you, Bessie. You served me well. Appreciate you, ma'am. We'll also ring this so she can go back inside so she won't be too chilly this evening. Haven't seen like any like rain or storms in the game thus far, but I guess it's spring. I guess they don't happen as much in spring. And we will uh, sleep. Yeah, being able to find the characters on the map is like really nice. So there have been several times where like I wasn't sure where they were. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, day uh, one of Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life. It has been wonderful indeed. But we've gotten through five in-game days. I've been going for five and a half hours. So I think it's about time that your old pal Wadey started uh, wrapping up the stuff. I'd like to save these last few moments to say some really special thank yous to my tier three and tier two YouTube members and Twitch subscribers. Bolt, Missionanigans95, Alpha Leonis82, Mr. Dad, Vicarious Nick, and Good Morning Dreamer. Becoming a YouTube member or Twitch subscriber is a really fantastic way to support my channel and is what allows me to continue creating content for you guys. So if you'd like to be mentioned at the end of each video, make sure to join today at one of those tiers. I really hope that you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.